You want fries with that? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I genuinely love you guys, but I hate you right now. Alright. Nah. I can literally hear the smile in your fucking voice. Don't you try that shit with me. <laughs> Alright, who's got the echo? Um, Cass sometimes has an echo. <laughs> Depends. That's why I'm on push to tuck. Okay. Can... Will I set my dice up? Can I have someone make, um... Make the summary, please. Hold on here, friend. <laughs> no! Miss, may, be a, may I be excused to go to the bathroom? Oh, that's oh hold on, I need to do something. Why didn't you go before class? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I understand no, I, I, I just realized I had Abby's stream open in the background, and I didn't that's realize she started That's what the echo it. was. Ah. Yeah. Oh, that would explain that, an that echo. Is, that explains the echo. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um... Can I- can someone please do the summary? Stuff and things happen because reasons. <laughs> the D&D &D party did D&D &D things and then proceeded to D&D &D everywhere. We it's actually kind of gross. Them. We broke into an old lady's house. Uh -huh. <laughs> Killed her pet. We we I'll call her what she is. She's an old hag. We broke into an old lady's house. We flooded the first floor. <laughs> Yuja has been, uh, like an absolute fucking schizo, uh, locking and unlocking every door that he does not have the key to. He just likes picking locks. Doesn't matter if he's locking or unlocking. He wants to feel useful. Bless him. Was, is that it? Was that the summary? Uh, fine. Uh, we got back after killing Regicide King, uh, and then placing a new Regicide King. Uh, Regicide King said, alright, cool, uh, we, we, yeah, the, you can have the fucking air balloon, uh, when you're done with whatever business you have with the hag, I guess, uh, then we went off, and we're off in the hag's home. Uh, we killed her pet slime. Uh, Miuja has a new uh, best friend, uh, because nobody uh, else is worthy of being Jonathan. Uh, <laughs> All right, you have a little frog friend. Yeah. Stole him. Or no, I procured no, him. From a, I liberated <laughs> him from liberated. a balcony. Liberated. Okay. What in doubt you're liberating? It is always liberation. Uh, he now lives inside my uh, vest pocket. Wonderful. Uh, I opened and, or I locked and unlocked approximately uh, a dozen and a half uh, doors. Uh, freed some uh, goat man. Uh, yeah, pretty pog. Okay, um... That, that all happened, yes. Alright. So, at the end of the last session, we... We ended just as Karanios was about to enter the room first to try talking to the hag. Hmm? You were gonna go talk to the hag first? I was knocking on the door, yes. Sorry, I uh, unmuted because I was having a bit of a cough there. Okay. <clears throat> Like, uh, what does this character do? Oh, right, I'm a sorcerer. No.
you cast the magics that make people fall down. Look at the smile on that face. All right. Only being able to use one fireball feels incredibly underwhelming. It's truly beautiful. Yeah, you're gonna you not in your fireball nuke. Possibly be wasn't evil. Um, good enough? Yeah, no, I, I believe I ended maybe. by knocking on the door or something. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what movement and voices you heard through the door previously? Push into silence as you knock. We um, we have a delivery from uh, Downfall's new king. I'm just wondering where we should uh, should leave it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Aren't you the? Uh, I was just- I just said, wait a minute, aren't you the only person who can't speak, uh, Sylvan? Yes. I am Doesn't everyone Sylvan. here speak Sylvan, usually? Um... Uh... Yeah, but what's to stop him speaking in common? Oh no, I was just asking because I thought that might have seemed suspicious. Oh. Since, like... The Hags uh, people around here are all Bollywogs, and they're the ones we're delivering this for. Oh, uh, <clears throat> quick question. Uh -huh. uh, is Kirino still is Kirino still in Bollywog illusion form? Oh, um, no. I gave up on that after I couldn't be made into the freaking king. Ah. So I couldn't quite if I remember. can't be king, then I'm not being a frog. <laughs> If I could be king, would I be would king. be a frog for as long as needed. Just a mute one. Well, I can hardly do sign language through a door. Well... Anyway... You don't hear anything for what seems like quite a long time. But in reality, it is only just a few seconds before you hear... Enter! <laughs> I, uh, tentatively open the door and step inside, I suppose. Okay. You see in front of you two creatures. The first figure is seated on a very time-worn sofa. A tall, lean woman of grey complexion, dressed in black with a wide-brimmed hat obscuring her eyes. The other figure is a toad-like creature with bulging eyes and cracked skin. It is clad in a shapeless garment and sits on one arm of the of the armchair with its legs pulled up beneath it. Flies flit into and out of its mouth, which hangs agape. And two tiny versions of the creature cling to it like pets. The room is filthy, dirty dishes and bits of discarded food lie everywhere. The furniture was perhaps once of fine quality, but now stains the mysterious origin mottle. There, there, there. But now stains of mysterious origin mottle every surface, and the upholstery has been patched numerous times. Set with its back to the wall in one corner is a hulking wooden cabinet. Sturdy legs support the bottom of the cabinet six inches above the floor. A decrepit wooden staircase climbs up the wall in another corner. The corner that you've entered by. And so the staircase going up? Yeah. Okay. I assume, sort of, since we've already seen the haggling, I'm guessing the one with the two creatures and the frog-like appearance is Bevlorna going from, well, a 
appearance and seeing the haggling that we fought previously. Are you asking her that? That's me asking if I can infer that out of character from appearance. I'd say so. I'd say you'd be able to, yeah. I uh, take a moment to take in the room, think on my feet, and uh, keep up with the uh, delivery boy act. I'm not going to ask for a tip though. Uh, there's a uh, gift from the new King of Downfall. There's been a uh, recent change in management, though I get the feeling that's quite the common occurrence. We left it downstairs and weren't sure if you wanted it brought anywhere in particular. Where are your friends? Oh, I'm uh, not really the type for manual labour, really, and lifting hefty things, so they're down. There's a couple of them just down the stairs, I believe, still, with the crate. Make a deception check. I would happily do so. Who <laughs> would? <laughs> 23. Eh, seems legit. Understandable. Have a nice day. Alright. She, she seems to accept that as fact. I didn't forget her brawn crackers, so it's fine. <laughs> um It's at this point that the uh dark figure uh stands up and, uh, and says well Bavlorna this has been a wonderful visit but uh, I must be away and she goes to leave I uh, awkwardly step to one side to make space make a perception check as she passes Perception, perception, uh -huh. perception. What is my perception? I have no perception. You have no perception. You notice her as 15. she passes by. <laughs> what was that? <clears throat> Sorry? Fifteen. Fifteen? You notice that she does not have a shadow. Can't have shit in Detroit. I turn back to noticing that the uh, guest has now gone downstairs to the currently unoccupied crate. I'm just going to get talking as quickly as possible. So uh, we'll move that crate wherever you want it shortly, though I must confess I did volunteer for coming to ask you because I did have a question of my own. And she kind of just... Um... <clears throat> gives you this this look. She kind of squints her eyes and tilts her head. Go on. Well, as strange as it sounds, I've been told by a wooden horse that you might be in possession of something that was taken from me. Being very straightforward. I have many things. I assure you this next question is not intended as an insult, but a genuine question. Do you happen to have a sense do you happen to have a fashion sense? <laughs> is that an attack?
Roll for psychic damage. <laughs> get ready to break out. Get get ready to break out the ice beam to uh, handle that savage burn, yo. That's excellent news. I've been looking all over it for quite some time. Pigman's lost his fashion sense to a hag. That's what I rolled on the table when creating the character. <laughs> uh, you you see her uh, turn to uh, one of the the little the little versions of herself. Uh, and she says something in Selvan, and you see the little one just jump down and scarf her off, and you don't see where it goes. We vibe out. <laughs> we vibe in the bottom door. <laughs> and she, uh, she turns back to you. I will give it back on one condition. And may I know what this condition is? My older sister, Scabitha, and she kind of spits on the ground as she says the name, has a portrait. Bring it to me within eight days and your lost item will be returned to you a portrait may I know what this is a portrait of This is just something you're making up completely on the fly and No 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 I'm 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 yeah. reading it in the guide, I'm sorry. Oh. Uh sorry, I thought I was just pressing for needless detail. <laughs> no no no. Hmm. It's of it's of her. She of Scabitha. <laughs> It is displayed in a circular room in the heart of Loom Lodge. There are there are other portraits, but I want that one. Seems like a reasonable enough trade, though. Hmm. I would. I know absolutely nothing about Loom Lodge, was it? I haven't. I know no, next to nothing about that place. I, I wouldn't know even where to begin searching. It's Gavitha's lair. Loom Lodge is a hollowed out tree located deep in the forest of Thither. And forgive me for my uh, complete ignorance on the matter. It's a miracle that I even managed to make it here. But how does one get to the river? You need a guide. Oh. There's this scarecrow. Oh, I can't remember the name. Oh. They're around here somewhere. They will guide you. My boy. A 
Scarecrow, I see. I'll have to. I just want to. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing. I was a character here. Mm -hmm. I shall have to do my best to uh, find this Scarecrow then. So it's a deal? Let me just go confer with my companions. I don't want to drag them into something they don't want to get involved with. We sort of came as a group and I don't know how they feel about uh, splitting up. Mm. Do as you will. Thank you, uh, thank you very much. I'll, uh, I'll be right back. I, uh, walk out of the room and gently close the door behind me. Were, um, Amanita and Miuja, were you guys listening at the door? Oh, absolutely. 1000%. Okay, so you guys heard the entire conversation. Um, you. I'm gonna ask you guys to make a perception check to see if you could hear what uh, Bavlorna said to the Lawnling. Because you guys do know Sylvan, don't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but she whispered it, so uh, yeah. please make perception checks. Can I roll performance instead, like I do every time when you tell me to roll perception? Pass. You can pretend to listen in very effectively. <laughs> Cass, do you want Jonathan the Third to survive? I don't know. Do you want the caretaker to survive? Yes, yes, I do. Please. <laughs> we ain't playing these games here. <laughs> You reach the end of the campaign, and it turns out the caretaker's real name was Jonathan all along. <laughs> Somebody died. <laughs> you can't do that to me while I'm drinking. <laughs> That's exactly when I should do it to you. Because it's the best uh, reaction possible. Okay, Muji, you don't hear it. Amanita, you can make out a few words. Um, you hear... Upstairs, lock. There's lock. Upstairs, lock. But you don't hear the words between, you don't hear anything else. Let's see what would have happened if I wrote performance instead. See? Much better. <laughs> You, you, have, have very good convinced show everyone, you, you have very managed good to convince of... everyone that you are listening most attentively. I actually do that, yeah. A very good show of keeping your ear pressed to the wood, nodding your head along in deep thought. Yes, so what they say, Mioja? And he just shrugs. <laughs> Mioja just doesn't say anything like he always does. <laughs> All right. He really is the Harpo Marx of the group. I will uh, <laughs> take a few steps onto the stairs and then start... In case Bablona can hear me, I will uh, whisper as I cast message to speak to the others, if that is possible. Let me double check. I do have message. I do have message. It is a cantrip. I can use it. In which case, it is possible. Yay. Uh, then I sort of... Who do I whisper? Uh... Roll a die. I'm not going to whisper the bird. Uh, I'd probably whisper Amanita. Okay. Hey, there's more than one bird. <laughs> so I'm going to assume you probably heard something of what was going on. Well, I had my conversation. Now you can handle things. Uh, we can handle things however you deem fit. That would be my uh, message to Amanita. She's just standing there flicking her ears like the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> She's just flicking her ears. Amanita stands there with resting. Just a voice face. inside your head. Just I cast stare. message again. By the way, I'm not a ghost. I'm using magic right now. You <laughs> can talk back. <laughs> Trying to get the water out of Amanita's ears. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh no, I wasn't saying that I was doing that. No, no, that was Amanita's answer. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, oh god, did I just say something? What do you want us to do? Is Anna, this something or message? You guys had a plan. Have you forgotten the plan? Yeah, it's yeah, been we a couple around. weeks. Yeah, I know. I know it's been a few weeks. I'm sorry. I thought we were, ki thought we were kicking ass and taking names. Kill the hag. We kill the bitch. Veldra said it's a murder hobo now. Muja minor illusions a small hag, and then uh, minor illusions it popping. <laughs> Um... You wanna go first? Oh, uh, uh, out, out of curiosity, uh, what, what's, what's up with this burb right here? That's my burb. That's, that's my burb swarm. That's Amanita's, uh, swarm. Where she came my swarm is hummingbirds. Okay. Cute. She oh, that's adorable. It is adorable. Burbs. Burbs. You are cuckoos. A bird breaks down the door. Burbs are totally trustworthy. <laughs> In this part, uh, you're more calmer than you may think. Him, but he's got to get there first. Oh, um, before, before that bridge is potentially crossed, are these windows large enough to fit through? Uh, these ones, this one them? at the top? Uh, how big are you? Yeah, I mean, they, they look like they're about the same size as the balcony doors. Oh, wait. Mm, no, they're a little bit snugger, but... How how big are you? Actually, they're the size of a square. Yeah, I'd um... say you can fit through. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can fit through. I mean, I'm, I'm classified as a medium creature, but I'm kind of slightly smaller than the average human. Hollow yeah, bones. yeah, you'll definitely fit through. You might need to tuck your wings in extra tight too, but yeah, you can get through there. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I, can, I can go slipstream missile, <laughs> flying torpedo. Yeah. Minor yeah. concern. Minor this bitch ain't fat shame near a <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, in that case, okay. uh, for the group. Marching order, please. You can sort out which who wants to go first. I do enjoy me getting up, up in people's face. I forgot that I, I spent mean, like three minor. I mean, I'm by the door anyways, so... I guess I'll go first. Uh, you can always just come back here a sec and I'll just charge the door. Charge the door. I can make it to the window in about two turns. <clears throat> All right, but that would mean you should always also know that we have went in there and gone bonkers on her. I think I... if that happens, it will become well, he, rather he... apparent. Yeah, I Very assume loud. he'll be able to hear it. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say, given the timing, Rourke. Yeah, R Rourke would have been able to see everybody going down this hallway here. And he has flown around the uh, the most of the buildings, so. Oh. To make it seem like uh, if it takes a while for them to decide what to do, like upwards of five minutes, I'm going to minor illusion, the sounds of me starting to climb up the stairs, getting close to the top, and then slipping and falling down them. <laughs> Oop. I think I'm lagging a little bit. Oh, right. He... Oh, Yeah, just, just take the first roll. Uh, We're fighting should here I be now? On this oh, initiative? Where? Should I be on this initiative order, by the way? 
Uh, will you be joining them as soon as they start? As soon as Arjun. I can ways, I intend to move in and help. I mean, it would be kind of scummy of me to just leave them to fight the hag and just pretend like I knew nothing Cass, about this. Cass invisible and then just leaves. <laughs> Cast invisibility and then just uh, twiddles my thumbs sitting on the banister at the top of the stairs, waiting. Because then technically I didn't break any hospitality Although, rules. Although admittedly... Well, all, admittedly, also it wouldn't necessarily behoove you to keep an eye on the stairs in case um, the other hoo-ha comes back up. I get the feeling that it would have been long enough that she noticed the lack of companions waiting with the crate. And if she really cared, she would have raised an alarm. Yeah. But yeah, I'll get on the initiative order. Well, that's fine. Being slow is uh, I mean, decent enough. Classic what, what, Karenus. What we can do... You're not, you're not uh, being slow, you're being gent. deliberate. Yeah, Jen, what we can do is um, you can just join in the next round of combat instead of this round. Yep, that's fine. Yep. That sounds good. Uh, I'm fine with the low low initiative as well, which is perfectly fine. Okay. Just means that I, uh, yeah, I said deliberate. <coughs> Sorry. Dokey. Sorry that I keep pausing and saying uh, a lot recently, by the way. It's just me trying not to cough when I'm speaking. <coughs> and I just oh, I think that's like 80% of oh, us are coughing, happens. so. Hi. <laughs> welcome, welcome to uh, colder weather. <laughs> I was outside today as well, which made it worse. Yeah, the, what's really crazy is that where I live, it's like it is literally sunny for about ten minutes, then torrential downpour for fifteen, and then it's kind of sunny for another like twenty minutes. <laughs> like they're they're like literal double rainbows going down like crazy yesterday. Oh, uh, that was what it was like here today. It's been raining non-stop here for over 24 hours. Don't get washed away. Anyways, in I go! Anyways. Charge! I love being the only one in the room. Are we moving outside of initiative order? Well. Uh, no, 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 you can, you guys, selfie. what you guys can do is you can either mm. burst into the room altogether, or you can do it one at a time and in initiative order. That is up to you. I will say that once you enter the room, that's when initiative starts, however. I declare that we all conga line in slowly one <laughs> turn after another. Maybe it'll distract and confuse her. Nah, let's all just, just like uh, barbarian brawl it into the fucking. Line. I'm sorry, but that conga line thing is now just making me imagine like a birthday event at a restaurant. You just conga line, <laughs> <around, laughs> and exactly. line releasing a massive cake. Oh, I you're was, just I playing the fucking birthday song. I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking something along the lines of like a Bugs Bunny skit. But oh, anyway. That too. Anyway. There you go. That's that's how we're going in. <laughs> FBI open up. <laughs> All right. You are quite literally the fashion police. The fashion police. <laughs> we're here for my fashion sense, after all. This is true. Keep yeah. stolen someone's fashion. Hands up. <clears throat> This track is a lot louder than I thought it was. Oh, I've turned it way down, so... Yeah. Pancake is always at, like, low to medium volume for me. The problem is, like, all the different tracks are different volumes. <laughs> yeah. That's how it is, though, isn't it? Mm. Right, are we conga lining? Are we barbarian brawling it? Are we... What are we doing? What We're are you going doing? in. <laughs> you, you going, going in? Going in hot. You going in hot? Okay. So, um, Cranios is waiting one turn out, and it'll take, 
two rounds of move movement for you to get to the other window, Ruark? Yes. Okay. Because yeah, I can start about the 50. Yeah, it will, it'll, because I assume that I got to here during the conversation and it'll take me, let's see, I can fly at 50, so one turn will take me to about here. Oh, wait, I can't ping right there. One turn will take me about here, and then it's like another 40 to get to here, so I, I can make it in about two turns. Can you dash? Yeah, you yeah, can action dash. dash. Action dash to oh. make it in one turn. Doubles your movement speed. Well, Doubles I don't want to get there action. too early. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, I imagine it would be an action to break the window, so you can yeah. use your action to get there and then just flap around at, outside, glaring angrily. Yeah. Just sla slap into it <laughs> like a bird. Just middle finger up outside. No, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna torpedo on in. That but, too. You know. So, and also, two turns will be uh, will will give me enough uh, time out of character to see how well you guys get your asses handed to you, or I mean, <clears throat> how how well you deal with the situation. <clears throat> <laughs> yep, it's not like I'm low on the initiative order and then can come in, see them losing, and go, I am shocked and appalled that you would betray me like this. I thought we were friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I still I... didn't get my question answered. Are we conga lining? Are we barbarian brawling it? How are we going to Brawl. Brawl. If that's no, everyone else. Yeah. Open up. yeah. Yeah. Pancake. Pancake, please. Pancake vibe checked. Pancake. You, you get a plus one bonus if you chant hop, 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 hop while you're charging in. I, I Dark Souls fat rolling. <laughs> Believe in the right. burbs. Always pops the one. All right. We start on Amanita's turn. So, mm. Amanita, what are you doing? Um, I need to remember how to play this fucking character. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh, I knew what I should have done. Oh, never mind. Um. Yeah, looking over your character sheet, it's like, oh wow, I forgot I could do that. Exactly, that's what I'm because I would have been passed great. Like before I did what I did. I have passed without a trace. I could have just sneaked in and look everywhere and just go upstairs. Um, I guess I will. I'll throw an entangle. Why not? All right, Entangled is a 20-foot square. Yep. So where would you like to put it? Right on top of it. Inadvisable. Well, here then. Here. So... Can someone make sure that I'm casting that right? Where's, where's 20... About there? Yeah. Thank you. Thank I, I, you would, I would say, like, a little longer down here, but okay. Yeah, like, uh, decide where feet. my own fucking entangle is. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, better. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, w widen it by about one unit. Yeah. By one. Yeah, so on this yeah. side, like, you dra did the Drag bottom, the left but... side. Yeah, drag the left side out, like, one more unit. Oh. There? Yeah. Is that right, that's... guys? Yeah. Okay. Yep, that's perfect. Okay. So, it's a deck save? Uh, strength check. Strength save. Okay. Yes. Um, does a 26 pass? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I believe 32 hit. Alright, well, I'll 
guess I'm not going to be doing any of those checks. <laughs> the fuck did you even roll to get a 26? A natural 20. Oh, uh, no. understandable then. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, if that was a natural 20, then zero fucks would be given. <laughs> I mean, that's that's my action. Do you want to move at all, or...? Isn't your Go upstairs. Is your swarm a bonus action to command it? Um... I can't command it exactly. Okay, how does it work? Um... It's basically, um, if I hit a creature with an attack, uh... it can either uh, do an extra d6 piercing damage, or it can uh, make the target make a strength save or be moved 15 feet horizontally, or I can move 5 feet horizontally. Oh, okay. So it's not exactly commanding, it's yeah. more of... It's yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Kind of helping me if I attack. But you still have movement if you would like to use that. You know, I'm actually pretty good by the stairs. Okie dokie. I'm down. happy where I am. Alright. Um... I am going to make my uh yeah I'm gonna make bonus action make my echo okay so I just need to drag another you onto the board yes, there I need another I need another me okay I'm just gonna pop it shadow clone jutsu and I'm gonna give it the blue dot so we know it's the echo. And uh, right. you can place it wherever you want, hopefully. So you should be able uh, to place it yeah, yourself. Yeah, I can control it. I can control it. Okay. Um, Alright. I can do that. Yeah, I'm gonna put one of me over there. And one of me is gonna be over here. And I will cast uh, a firebolt at her. Okay. Start off. Uh, no, that's gonna be a nine to hit. That's not gonna hit. <laughs> nope, that does not hit. You are right. <coughs> you alright? Okay. Uh, is that everything? Yeah, that's the end of mine. Okay. Me, you, Jeff. Uh... Is Bavlorna a humanoid? What do you mean by humanoid? As in, is she, like, a humanoid creature? She's a fae? Does that mean she's human? <laughs> it doesn't say on her card, I'm sorry! Uh, if it says fae and not humanoid towards the top, then... Yeah, it says fae. Yeah. Damn. I think... Uh, ba, ba, ba. Okay, I'm going to uh, do a number on the unwashed dishes here. Uh, and I'm going to be casting uh, right here. Uh, shatter. Oh, I'm not uh... digitation. You're not going to do her dishes for her. <laughs> My guy, eight one three. That is not okay. 
Uh, but yes, right here is where the shatter will go off. Uh, and okay. I need a con save from Beth Lorna. Will that also destroy the window? Yes. Yeah. Twenty-two. All right, fuck out. <laughs> <coughs> you take six thunder damage still. Fuck you. Six thunder damage. Okay. Muja whimpers quietly because he continues to not do much in combat. <coughs> All right. Uh, do you want to uh, move? No, I don't think I will. Okie dokie. Bonus action, anything or? Uh, no. I'm good. I'm happy. Okay. Not. That was a lie. I'm sorry you're not happy. Roll lower on your saves, please. <laughs> you know that die you know that die that you you got that many D twenties on? Yeah. Yeah, don't use that today. I'm not using that today. That's a mm -hmm. that was that was Silkwin's die. I'm not using that for any other character. <laughs> Devoted yeah. to Silkwin. No, I'm, I'm serious. It has Silkwin's dice written on the label. So, yeah, I'm not using it for any other character. What is up with your dice rolls? Stop it! I'm sorry. Why can't you have these dice rolls? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Why can't yeah. I have these dice rolls when I attack? Anyway, yes. Ruark. DM syndrome. <laughs> Alright, so, let's see here. Let me get on the right thing. So. Make sure, so it's about 20 to here. Oop. And then another 30 to just in front of the window. Oop. Okay. Also, another reason why I'm not making a mad dash is because, considering how he's outside, he doesn't know if you guys have gone in hot yet. So. Um, I sure. would, I would say that you would have heard Actually, the shatter on the, the window. Shat yeah. yeah. The shatter is extremely loud. It is, oh, it okay. is, yeah. So you would have heard the, the glass from this window Ooh. here just Okay, die. well that makes it easier for me. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, so you're still not gonna dash? Nope. <laughs> Understandable. Understandable, well, have a good day. Well, uh, also, yeah. And also because he doesn't, like, he, he saw the weird abominations against nature in, in this room over here, so let, let's not... Keep an eye on them. Up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they, they might be kosher, but, you know, she's into some freaky shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why did you have to word it like that is my question. <laughs> Just the silence. <laughs> All right. <laughs> As I could. All right. Um. Let's see. Uh, how you're going to see uh, Bavlorna raise uh, a finger at you, and she's going Is it the to the middle one. <laughs> <laughs> she's a face. She doesn't know what that means. Um, and she's she's going to cast a withering wh withering uh, ray. Can she not? No. Okay. Um, uh, that is a seventeen. You most certainly can't hit. not. That that will hit. All right. Uh, that the vibe is... check. The vibe check. I'm going to uh, reaction cast silvery barbs. What does that oh. do? So re-roll a d20 and use the lowest. Oh, so it's a force disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah. That Does a 32 is... still hit? 
That is uh, um, 15. 15 is my armor class. Meets it beats. Meets it beats. Yeah. Nah! Worth a try. Worth a try. Well, I, I, can give I can now. give advantage, but yeah. Uh, that is... <laughs> 14 damage against you, pal. Cool. Out of curiosity, what type of damage? Necrotic. Yep, that sounds about right. Yep. Understandable. And understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> is is there anything else that happens? Uh, no. She... she... Okay. Just does that. I'm just reading through the rest of her attack uh, actions. I'm sorry. No, no, it's fine. I just I wasn't uh, sure if the spell effect would be like withering touch. You also lose all your strength. <laughs> Yay, barbarian. Uh, nope. That's that's her turn. Oh, thank God. Uh, Karanios, you're skipping this round, aren't you? Yes, I am. I pretended to fall down the stairs. <laughs> okay, Pow, it's your turn. Okay, so gonna raise my axe i'm going to move 10 feet up to here um i'm going to like put my foot up on this little table here i assume that's some type of table and then sort of jump over use 20 feet of movement uh to get there so i just leapfrogging off it and then in midair i'm going to rage channeling my electricity through my axe and just go to swing at her okay um, so I'll make my first attack, which is 14 to hit. Doesn't hit. Fair enough. Uh, actually, uh, I don't think it was me. Shadow, who did you give advantage to? Oh, I've taken it. Cool. Um, yeah, I just don't remember hearing that. Okay, uh, then she's also going to need to do um, a dex check, DC 14, for half damage against the lightning. A dex check? Uh, ooh, 13, so that does not beat. So she takes 14 damage, like as I slam down, I miss, but the lightning will still shoot off the axe and into her. Uh, 14 damage. 4 damage. Oh, okay. Ooh. Uh, and then I'm going to use my last 10 feet of movement to swing up to this corner here um, and make Hang on, hang on. Uh, Rixi, can you check for me? Entangle, does it make the area difficult terrain? Mm. Let me let me check. Let me check. It does, which it, is. Yes. Yeah, so. Which so is why I'm. If I could Moving check up. myself, that would be great. Thank you. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, uh, I have 40 feet of movement. You have 40 feet, so you do have that 10 feet yeah. left. Because you would have 20 feet left, so you have 10 feet left. Yes. Okay. Uh, and, yeah, I'm going to make a, my, extra, my second attack against her again. And... Uh, Miss. That's going to be an 8 to hit. <laughs> uh, should have reckless. Oh well. Um, that's my turn. Okay. Amanita. Well, seeing as the Entangle did fuck all on her. Welcome to my world. Um... She's gonna, she's gonna drop, she's gonna drop that, and she's gonna bonus action Hunter Mark on her instead, because that's con concentration as well. Okay, hold on. Uh, bonus action Hunter Mark, you say? Yes. Oh, wrong one. Okay. Um, what was the other one that you said? The other action? Oh, I haven't said any action yet. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot I have two attacks. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna swing twice at her. Because I have two attacks. Or action. Okay. Um. Ugh. No. No, that's not good. Um. 16 to hit. Hits. Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah, okay. I rolled the exact same thing. So two times 60. <laughs> they both have um, them. Okay. And then I roll the damage for those. Um, that's five. And then... Let's see... And then two times swarm because I hit her two times. That's seven. And then the hunter's mark, which is two d six again. Twenty in total. Twenty, twenty in, in total. total. Okay. Uh, is your swarm gonna do anything? Because you did hit her. That was including my swarm. Well, it was you didn't move your swarm. That's that's why. Oh uh, yeah, though. No. Um. It would it, it would have been <clears throat> um, Burr. it would have been moving uh back Burr. and forth basically because I can teleport I can, I can summon it to myself yes um so basically they would have been going back and forth okay so yeah all right. Um, and I don't want to move right now. Okay. But you can remove the uh, entangle. Okie dokie. Because that's dead plants. Yeah, now. you you, you <laughs> dropped it. That's fair. Yeah. Um, it did fuck all, okay? They'll just send. Alright, I'm going to bonus action begin my Blade song, and then we're both gonna charge in. I think. And I'm going to take an attack and unleash incarnation. Make an attack from my well. That's the twenty-one to hit. Yeah, that hits. And my echo uh, 16. Yeah, that hits. Right. <coughs> uh, for me, that's 12. For my echo, that's 9. And I'm going to action search to hit again. And that, yeah, uh, 17 to hit. That hits. All right. Uh, that is for 11 damage. Okay. <clears throat> That'll be the end of mine. Muja. Muja has, has opted for the route of peace was never an option now, and he draws his uh, rapier. Okay. I move here, 
I try to stab Bavlorna. I cry actively. <laughs> oh my god, with a plus seven, you miss. What do you be flanking? Uh, Mew just starts crying. Actually, yeah, I'm flanking, fuck you. Oh, yeah, that's true. 18! Hey, that hits. Get 17. Okay. Uh, is anyone exceptionally injured? <laughs> no one's injured. I am. <laughs> How injured? I'm missing 19 HP. Out of? Well, I'm missing 19 total. Out of 32 or 51. But I'm surprised bad. that we forgot to heal you up after the slime encounter. Yeah, you the know. Slime, the cube, sorry, the cube. It's only a small damage. The cube. The cube. And I wasn't actually uh, swallowed by this creature. It was nice cool. going through a combat without that. Muja quickly pulls out his flute and like blows on it. He doesn't even like try to play a tune really. It's just blowing on it and uh, healing word. Seven HP to uh, rabbit. The thing that I thought of the moment you said doesn't try to play it, just blows into it. I just imagine the sound being that really irritating sound when you get to Lane Dell. The The little dooters. The dudes. Oh, How could you horrible. do this to me? Those dudes are great and I love them so much. Anyway. But you also hate them. No, I love them. They're friendly. Winners. What are we talking about? Uh, Alden Ring. Anyway, uh, oh. Ruach, your turn. Uh, let's see here. Boop. Hello. And I'm done. <laughs> You're not gonna try and get in, or? Uh, no, I'm saving all of my actions. Okie dokie. Because uh, if I don't have my bonus action, I can't do all my cool stuff. Okay. Bavlorna's turn, and she's going to... make a multi-attack. Uh, she is going to try and bite... Let's see. The echo. Because she's dumb and can't tell the difference. Stupid fucking egg. <laughs> she's not actually that I dumb. I mean, it would be very <laughs> visibly different. Would it? Yeah, the echo is translucent grey copy of me. Oh, is it really? Oh, yeah. okay, in that case. Uh, well, 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 will... Ruark is, well, Ruark is blocking the window, so the lighting is kind of shit anyways. <laughs> <laughs> She she will uh, try and bite Velderson because uh, above board her intelli intelligence is sixteen. So above wow. board, yeah. She'd probably oh, right. fuck yeah. her. She's she's a smart cookie. Uh, I remove her cookies. A very stale rotten cookie. So that is a uh, twenty-four with... to hit with the bite. With raisins. Uh. I'm gonna reaction shield it. Doesn't hit. Oh. When she makes an attack against a creature other than me, I'm gonna do a sentinel attack. This was a mistake. <laughs> My AC goes to 26 with shield. Oh, damn. Plus five, uh... go bird. Wait, your base armor class is 21? No, it's Blade Song. My That's Blade hard. Song armor class of oh, 21. Yeah. Still, damn. Okay. The bite misses. Um, she is going yep. to. I'm making an attack against her. It's the last one on that. Okay, yeah, go for it. Woo! 
and flanking advantage, right? Yes. Hey, yeah, 24. Yeah, that hits. Yay. Fuck. <laughs> Five plus two because of my rage, so seven slashing damage. Okay. And she is going to make a second attack. And this will be at disadvantage because she is making another wither, withering ray attack at uh, Pao. Uh, 12 doesn't hit, does it? No. No, I didn't think it did. Okay. So that misses as well. Uh, she's... Going to create... A lawn link. She's gonna place it... Right there. And the lawn link is... Hang on, I need to go and find that stat block. It's somewhere. with me guys i'm sorry they are totally not there. <laughs> it is going to make a dagger attack against the echo <laughs> little fucking shit does the echo have the same armor class as you well just then I think it has 16, doesn't it? It has my regular one, so it's 17. Okay, so an 18 hits then. Yep. Yep. All right, my echo vanished. It doesn't matter how much damage I do to it, it's it's nope. one awful. hit point. Yeah. Alright. Um Cranios. Yes. Your turn. I make my way back inside the room, opening the door in a rush, and putting on my best performance of having recently fallen downstairs. Glance around the room, take a look at what's going on. What the? Mutual waves. <laughs> and after pretending that I have absolutely no idea what's going on, What the hell can I do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll notice the, uh, the haggling and go... Oh dear, that looks, uh, quite dangerous. Here, let me get that for you. Just pretending I'm misunderstanding and doing a favour for trying to get rid of it. I am going to fire... What do I want to fire at it? I have no idea how tough it is. Let's just... Play it... <coughs> Sorry. Play it safe with a first level magic missile, so that is guaranteed to hit. Okay. Magic missile on the little haggling is three, three glowing darts. The one I'm going to target all three on it, so it's one d four plus one three times. Should I just do three d four plus three? Yeah. Because then that's all three of all three of them plus the modifier for each. Mm -hmm. Those are some decent damage rolls for some uh, you know, magic decent. missile. 13 points of force damage. Oof. 
<laughs> you killed it. Yay. 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 I'm helping. <laughs> cool. <laughs> um. Yep. That's all I got. I. I have a bonus action, but I can only do one thing with it, and it doesn't really help me. Yet. Okay, no. I'm not hurting for spell slots, so I don't need to start converting spell slots to sorcery points or vice versa, so I'm good. And that's my turn. Okay. okay. Uh, Pal, your turn. Cool. So, I seen the Hagleen just get like, just shot shot the heck up by a bunch of um, magical missiles. I'm gonna swing round to where the Hagleen was, keep up that advantage. Um, and then in doing so, I'm gonna like hop along and go for a low sweep and make my first attack. Mhm. Mm and uh, assuming I still have flanking. Uh, yeah, you do. Cool. Uh, twenty-four to hit. Yeah, that hits. Cool. Um, I will then also. Oh, uh, fifteen points of damage. Okay. Um, I'm then going to pump in my uh storm aura into into that. So like, basically, I'm channeling my electricity through my axe now, and. She has to make a DC 14 check. Dexterity. Dex. One lightning. Yeah. 17. Yeah, that'll make... So she takes half of one damage. Woo! That's that's zero. She takes zero damage. <laughs> that turns seem one right. Half of one damage still rounds me, to one. I think mm -hmm. one is minimum damage if it's still... Uh, uh, I'm uncertain I, because yeah, usually... Usually damage rounds down unless otherwise stated, and if there if is a minimum, if there is a minimum, say so. it says there's a minimum normally. Okay. Which is kind of the sad reality of this situation. So, <laughs> so it's still zero. Yeah. Okay. Frustrated, I'm just, um, and still channeling my rage. I'm just like, I'm gonna then, uh, pop back onto my feet and go for another overhead strike. And that's going to be a 21 to hit. Yes. And that's 11 points of damage. Okay. That will be my turn. Okay. Amanita. Uh, yes. Um. Yeah, no, I can't do the whole Thing. Oh, I can. Yeah, so we'll move there. Cause she kind of want to get a a hit without hitting Gunderson. So she will just uh. What 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 are you trying to do? <laughs> um So she would do a double attack again with her rope dart. Yay. Yay. Yeah.
17 and 15. 17 hits. 15 meets, so it beats, so it also hits. Okay. So that's two times. Seven. Um, 18 damage total with my uh, swarm. 18? Okay. 18, yes. Okay. Is that everything? No bonus yes. action? No, my bonus action was... Uh, the only bonus action I have is Hunter's Mark, and I already have that on her. Okay. <laughs> I'm a ranger, remember? Alright. I'm going to reform my echo next to me. Uh-huh. Um, and I'm going to unleash... Uh, yeah, unleash incarnation again. So I'm going to make an attack from both me and the echo. Okie dokie. First one for me is 19 to hit yeah that hits um the echo uh i rolled two 17s yeah they hit <laughs> all right um uh first one deals 10 and second one deals 11. And then I'm going to shift my echo back to here. <laughs> okay. And that's, the, that's all I can do. Uh -huh. You, Jeff. I am Yuja. Your turn. I move into optimal uh, advantage position and actually use advantage this time. I shank with a rapier. I double clicked on accident because mouse is very cool. Uh, yeah, you it would hit. be. Yeah. It would be the top one. Yeah, you you definitely hit. <laughs> Sixteen damage. Okay. How's health looking for those who, or anyone who has been hit? I think it's still low. If everyone, if there is no urgent need for healing, uh, I am. Fine. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there is. Who wants bardic inspiration then? Inspiration, you say? I I uh, first one to speak gets it. Uh... <laughs> what? I'll take it then. Vildresen gets bardic inspiration as I blow very loudly on my flute. I don't think it's that useful on me. I, I right into my ears. <laughs> right inside of your ear. It's just that it's that meme with the frigging trombone. <laughs> you know the meme. Yeah, we know. We all know. We all know. <laughs> Ruark. Yeah, I was gonna say you probably should have given it to me. It is your Alright. Um <clears throat> well, let's see if this works. So if I unearth my character sheet here from Windows. All right, so let's see here. That is well within my movement range. I shall. Where's hmm. that? Twenty. Uh. All right. Do, do, I shall move. Which which way is she facing? Not that it really matters. She's but currally facing towards Veldrasen. Okay. 
in that case. Do, 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 do. I shall go here. And I shall take my first attack. And I've completely forgotten what I'm supposed to click on. <laughs> sucks I'm assuming 11 does not hit nope all right in that case I shall make my second attack does 19 hit uh 19 hits yes cool I'm going to spend a key point to make that a stunning strike let's see here uh, she must make a, or she must succeed on a con save, or be stunned until the end of my next turn. Oof. Uh, did you say con? Yes. Seven. That does not beat it. Yeah, I didn't think it would. <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm like I have my choice of making her having her take three different stat saves, and so far Dex and Strength doesn't sound like a very good idea. So it's like, okay, let's try Con. Hopefully she's not <laughs> ripped like a tank. <laughs> okay, cool. So she fails. Mm -hmm. The DC was fifteen. Yeah. And now she is stunned until the end of my next turn. Okay. Oh, how about that? Oh, oh, the timing. Oh, that's next. Oh, the timing. Did she take damage from it as yeah. well, or is it just... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yep, she takes she takes damage. Um, uh, boop. Oh, nope. Shit. Oh, oh, that's right. I gotta click on the... Hold on. Boop. There you go. Five slashing. Okay. I always, I always forget about the damn... And let's see, that was my second attack. So that, yeah, I think that pretty much ends my turn. Okie dokie. Prenius. Yes. Yeah, I helped. It is my turn, is it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. I do not have much in the way of options right now. Hmm. I don't have many support spells, and I don't have many spells that wouldn't incinerate everyone in the room. I suppose at this point we're just going pretty much all in. This is going to be a difficult fight. I may as well drop the axe, and since I can't do a fireball in... Well, I could do a fireball in here, but you probably wouldn't like that very much. I don't think your party members would uh, appreciate that very much. That's Fucking do it. do it! Do it, Howard. I would. <laughs> I can you do it once I've swapped with my echo, thank you. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do something that does about the same amount of damage. I am going to cast Scorching Ray at third level. Ooh. And you know what? Just for the style points, because I can. Let me look at my meta magic options. Why the hell are my meta magic options listed on this sheet? What the hell is wrong with this sheet? Why are they down here? Uh, yeah, I'll just transmute it to cold damage, which is basically my signature at this point. Because why not? For style points. For style Three. points. A freezing ray instead of a scorching ray. Uh huh. That third level would be four rays total with on spell attack with each ray dealing 2d6. In this case, cold. But I do need to make an attack four times for each, one for each ray, which is 1d20 plus seven to hit for each spell. Okay, so four rays. Ray one is a 23. Yeah, that hurts. Ray two is a 22. Yeah, that hurts. Ray three is an 18. That hurts. Ray four is a 12. That doesn't hit. 
I could have cast it at third level and or at second level and it would have had no difference. But that is three hits, which is two d6 per, so I do six d6 fire damage. Okay. Or ice damage. Or cold damage, yes. I did metamagic it, so six d6 cold damage. Those are some terrible rolls. Fifteen points of cold damage. Okay. He suddenly feels compelled to put the kettle on. <laughs> Is that the entirety of your turn? Yeah, I. You can just assume I don't have a bonus action unless I specifically men. Okay. Unless I specifically mention it, because I would do it before casting a spell to give myself more spells. Okay. Wow, well, your turn again. All right, all right. Time to do my thing. Um. <laughs> Attack. Attack. <laughs> 24 and 17. Yeah, they hit. That's going oh. to be 14 plus 10 slashing damage, so tw uh, 24 slashing damage total. 24, okay. Yep. And Storm Aura. So that's another... It's DC 14, dex save. Can she do a dex save? Is she stunned? Uh, don't. If she's done, she can't. She automatically fails dex saves. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So that's five damage, yeah? Yep. I helped. And see, <laughs> seeing that she's stunned, I'm just gonna like just start hitting her um, like I'm cutting down a tree. Just. Huh, huh, huh. Going full Patrick Bateman. Okay. And that'll be my turn. Okie dokie. Amanita. Yes. Mm hmm. <clears throat> um, I have found out that I have been rolling for uh, to hit very wrong. Oh. I have not been adding half of what I should add to it. <laughs> I've just been really fucking lucky. Have you forgotten <laughs> Hunter's Mark? By no. Any no okay. no 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 hunter's mark is damage i'm i'm talking two hit oh uh i've not been adding proficiency i've not been adding strength i've not been adding anything <laughs> i've only been adding my weapon plus two damage wait that's how you're supposed to play ranger don't tell me i've been well, playing ranger wrong you are supposed to add your proficiency bonus uh which is, I assume, what you meant by plus two, which No, technically... my, my plus two is, uh... Oh, do you weapon. have a plus two weapon? Okay. Yeah. Then yeah, it would be plus two from your weapon, then plus your proficiency bonus, if you're proficient with the weapon. And then I am. strength or dexterity if it's finesse, or something else is allowing you to use dexterity. Okay, Cass, we need to talk about Silphrin's weapon after this, I'm just saying. I'm sorry, have you also <laughs> just not been adding your dexterity to your shots fired? Yes. We need to talk Abby. about this. I could have been getting out of sync. I, I don't know the only useful. idiot. I'm glad that this comes up only after you guys finish, like, your, uh... Boss fight, yeah. Big All boss right. fight from last session. Alright. <laughs> like, uh, no one told me yeah, I was no. supposed to be adding those. No, I was this thinking, like... This is why I like... through the website, because there's just too much shit to remember. <laughs> you know, see, the thing is, for me, it was like, it's a little odd that it's only a d20 and my weapon to hit, because that seems a bit weak. So I decided to Google it, and I was like, okay... That makes no fucking sense at all. So it's like, Cass, help me! Did you see me like attacking with plus seven and you were like, something's wrong here? <laughs> you were like, Cass, help me! What do I do wrong? What am I doing wrong? Why do I only have plus two? So yeah, <clears throat> I found out I've been doing it very wrong. Um. This makes a lot of sense. And now I understand why I was missing most of my attacks. Thank you. 
Have you now <laughs> understood why Gent and I have such high modifiers to hit? Yes, I understand yeah, now. Okay, yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was... I've never been needing it because I'm only a fucking caster in the other one, okay? I I, I genuinely well, thought it was because I was... still uses proficiency. I genuinely thought it was just yeah, because that's I was already calculated. Uh, Druid as well. Yeah, and the character me, sheet she was... Calculated. Yeah, she does use roll 20 sheet that I uh, helped uh -huh. to set up for her, so she automatically has the uh, attack modifiers put in there. Already right there for okay. me. It's can not we, here. Can we just move oh. on from this, please? Can't You're I'm trying. Okay. I, I'm beginning to feel like a really shit DM right now. Let's let's move on. Thank you. <laughs> why? Why I'm moving would you on be a from shit extreme DM? embarrassment? <laughs> You're not a shit DM. It happens to the um, best of us. Don't worry. So it's a D20 plus proficiency plus Dex because it's a finesse weapon, but that doesn't matter. It's both plus three. load that's a lot more <laughs> she's doing the same thing again okay. double hit yeah Eighteen and twenty-three. Yeah, both of those hit. Okay. And then it's just sixty-six again. Eighteen. Again. Uh, is that all damage? Yes, four. Okay. From swarm, from uh, double attack, from uh, hunter's mark, everything. Okay. Uh, anything else you wish to do? Cranios, do you want me to move? I don't need to cast fireball. Scorching ray up cast to thir the third level does potentially the same amount of damage. No, I'm I'm more of... I, I, am I in the way? Of anything? No. Just in case you wanted to cast something and, you know, not cinch my ears. I mean, <laughs> my freezing rays have basically been going right over your head. That's fair. She's probably in a superhero pose anyways. Um... Yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> okay, I'll just then. All right. Um, I am going to. I'm going to uh, swap locations with my Echo. Okay. So I vanish from there and appear back here, and my Echo takes my place. And I'm going to make an attack through my echo. Okay. Mm, 16 to hit. That hits? No. Yeah. Uh, that is 9 damage. Okay. All right. It's, yeah. It's... Is that it? Is that your turn? Yep. yep. Muja. I am Muja. Keeper of the Mew. Stab. Mew. Stab. Twelve men. They have been getting lower and lower every time I roll, huh? Okay. Uh, how's everyone looking on health? 
the same as well, before. Silence means nobody Absolutely needs fine. healing. It, yeah. I mean, you Let's could always continue bullying. Someone... Let's continue always... bullying the hag. I was going to say, you could always injure someone so they're in need of healing. <laughs> <laughs> He's not taking the lockpick uh, mentality to this fight. <laughs> Oh, you don't need healing? Stab, now you do! Uh... Who wants the Lash Bardic Inspiration? I sure, I'll take it. <laughs> I already got one, so I'll save it. Bavlorna does not get a uh, Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> oh. Yeah... I can take it, but if anyone else want it, go for I it. I give it to Funny Bunny. Funny bunny. <laughs> funny bunny. Bardic inspiration. As I blow on my flute into uh, the echo's ear. <laughs> dude, dude. dude, dude. Re re refer to the appropriate picture in the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> at, least it's not me this time. <laughs> at least it's not no, me. There's a second picture that you can use as well. Alright. Uh, Ruach, your turn. Uh, let's see. How do I do this? Of course it comes up with a bloody right. well. stupid link. Oh, excuse me. Uh, let's see. I guess I will take a minute to find the character sheet that got buried under the windows again. There we go. Right. I will take my... First attack. Shit. There it is. Uh, I'm going to assume 26 hits. Yeah. Cool. Uh, in that case, I'm going to spend another key point to do Flurry of Blows, which allows me to make two more unarmed strikes as a bonus action. So, unarmed strike number one. That looks like a nat oh. 20, so I'm assuming that hits. Yep. And, cool. Mm. Uh, I presume I should probably resolve the damage first. Is, is there anything else, like, since that's a crit, is that gonna... Uh, you doubled the amount of dice that you roll for it. Oh. Uh. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Alright, so. Slash roll. Oh, double one. 2d6. <laughs> well, that wasn't rolled appropriately. Okay. Because I'm not used to getting crits. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, 2d6. Here, I'll, I'll just do it one at a time, I guess. I don't know how to... Th 1d... Yeah, because like I said, I, I can't even begin to think the last time I got a nat 20 on anything, so I apologize if I utterly fuck this up or take three hours figuring it out. So, there's one. And there is... Two. Alright, so I guess combined that's... What was that? Fourteen? Yeah. Fourteen slashing. Okay. And because you that flurry... Should, and because is, that is, flurry, was that... Sorry, real quick. Was that just the crit? Because you shouldn't add the bonus twice. You just... You roll double the amount oh, of oh, dice oh, and okay, add nope. just... So uh, it would be the uh, oh. 6 plus 4, which is 10. Just, just... No, uh, yeah. Yeah, just nick it off. Like I, like I said, like I said, I apologize. Nope, it's, it's fine. I wasn't expecting to actually hit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that is the that is damage for this. Second one, the one that you critted on. So, what about the first one? Uh, 
Oh. Boop. Just six. Just six. Okay. Just six. And that was my first <laughs> first unarmed strike. So unarmed strike number two. Uh, 13? That doesn't hit. Okay. And now for my extra attack. How many attacks do you have? Is I have monk? monk amount of attacks. Monks. <laughs> uh, monk. that, that, like, doesn't, know, uh, that doesn't hit either. Well, poop. And because I missed my opportunity to use the open hand technique, I guess I'm fucked. Oh well. Um, I guess she's I no longer stunned, right? Yeah. Okay. Because unfortunately, it's, since it's been so long, I forgot the proper order of doing monk shit. Oh. I'm I'm sorry. It's been so long. And that that really pit. Well, no, I'm I'm not like calling anybody out it's just kind of aggravates me because like at this point like i could literally like assuming i don't roll like absolute shit i could have like about like almost what six attacks yeah, yeah. So my first attack if that lands i can just very blow so that's another two and then on top of that there's open hand technique for extra bells and whistles then i get my extra attack plus another two <laughs> it's 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 a lot and if those land <laughs> yeah all right. I mean, um, granted, I only have so many keep, but it is Bavlona's turn. I counterspell her having a turn. It's like... <laughs> no. Well, no, if no, I, no. <laughs> I could have knocked her. Well, theoretically, I might have knocked her prone. Theoretically. Assuming I did roll shit. <laughs> Alright, uh, Bavlorna is going to disappear. I knew I should have taken Counterspell into the fireball. She just, one minute she's there, one minute she's gone. She is, she is just, poof, gone. Oz knows. Um, who wrote infinitely falling into the void? I make no comment. They're <laughs> <laughs> oh. out of bounds. They, they, they're just gone. They, they would move there just to be able to be moved back. I, I, I just there. zoomed out and saw her off in the corner, and I was like, "Oh, that's funny." <laughs> All right. Uh, end of initiative. Oh, that bitch! She has a second uh, out zone. Out, out, out of curiosity, <sighs> I'm just yeah. noticing this. What? Why is there an uwu on the chopping block over in the uh, kitchen? You don't need to look at that. <laughs> oh my god! Why did you put that there? <laughs> I have downtime while I wait for my turn. <laughs> it's been a little while. <laughs> oh, that's great. That is great. I love it. <laughs> uh, split up and look for clues. You just immediately starts bouncing around the room. What's up these stairs? Can we... Uh, nope, that's uh, was already going up there because <laughs> she basically heard the words upstairs lock. All right. So she would immediately go upstairs. All right, before you guys head on upstairs, let me just... Oh, no. Oh, dear Lord, what me the fuck? You know what? <laughs> I said Miyuja starts bouncing around the room. This is just pinball. This is yeah. pinball. 
Um... I forgot how to do that. Uh, to make your character, like, go between areas? Yeah, like a path. Uh, you right-click you right -click while holding the token. And you keep right-clicking to drop more, uh, pins on where to go. Yeah, but the problem is when I right-click, I just grab the map and yank it around. Uh, that, that's a re that's something that you need to refresh, okay, uh, uh, sometimes. Oh. I can do the pins, but I can't do the... I can't actually make it move. It, oh, no, it, it'll always look like it. you just plop down where you're... Okay, okay. Yeah. It's something weird that Roll20 just decides. Uh, you don't get to watch yourself actually move. Um, Muja, whilst you're floating around the, the room, you do see that this cabinet over here is a potion cabinet. Fucking darts back. <laughs> Uh, what kind of potions am I spotting in this lovely cabinet? Well, the... That definitely doesn't make Mewja want to gag and throw up. The potion cabinet itself is covered with bark and patches of moss, so it's kind of hard to see through the the filthy glass. Um, all you can really make out is, is potion bottles. Can I do, like, a cleaning check? <laughs> Sweeping aside some some hanging moss, you do see a a lock. A lock. Mm -hmm. God damn it! I should have cast my shatter slightly more to the left. That would have destroyed the potions. Then it would have just been a potion soup. Potion soup. Soup. I'll I'll like soup. swing my uh, uh my axe onto my shoulder and just be like, do, do you need a hand? No. I'm unlocking that motherfucker myself. <laughs> Thieves tools. You? you just see me just you? stare at you. <laughs> um, Muja, you successfully pick the lock. Muja just sheds a single yeah. tear. <laughs> okay. I on, open. On the bottom shelf, uh, there are three magic potions with labels in Elvish. Do you? Do you read Elvish? Uh, I cry. Okay. The top shelf holds a stuffed cat that kind of creakily stretches and comes to life when you open the cabinet door. I close it. Nuke it from orbit. That's the only way to be sure. <laughs> I slowly open it again to check if it's still moving. It. I read Elvish. Uh, it. It. Leaps at you. I am Elvish. Uh. I counterspell its existence. I don't know if that would work. I don't even have counterspell done. Oh, okay. Don't make jokes like that. You might actually have counterspell and I don't know. <laughs> I'm planning to pick that up at my next level up. Hopefully. I'm sorry, did I just get face huggered by a fucking hat? Um Time for you to be sorted, boy. <laughs> basically, uh this this cat Sorting has, has leaped at you. Um... Oh, it's a cat. I thought I thought you said hat for a bit there. Yeah, no, no, I thought, no I thought you said cat because yeah, you, you well, sound like you said hat hat. stretch. No, how would a hat I mean, stretch? I can imagine a stretching well, hat. Well, magic. <laughs> it's a cat. Hope you're seeing nothing. I know where this fanfic is going, boy. Oh no! Stop um, that right there. But the uh, but yes, this this cat has leaped at you, and okay. Uh, suddenly there is a cloud of dust in your face that is <laughs> um causes you to sneeze and choke. I'm sorry. Sneeze and choke. You're struggling to breathe in this cloud of dust. Damn, bro. My asthma. <laughs> <laughs> so did the cat just leap at, uh, like out of there? Or is it like actively trying to latch onto and murder me? 
Uh, yeah, we'll go with the second of those options. Fucking yeet that motherfucker. <laughs> the cat slams into the, the ground where you throw it. Picks oh, it I did off. mean that literally. <laughs> I was just late, trying boy. to toss it off of me. Too late, boy. This cat nah, I rewind this. time. No. <laughs> <laughs> the, the cat picks itself back up and uh, attempts to um, throw itself at uh, Ruark. The fucker wants <laughs> to kill the birds. It's because you're right. birds. I mean, are we, are we talking like an Assassin's Creed level leap here? I'd say the cat's about here, and because you know it's a cat, it can leap pretty far. Hold on, before what? <laughs> can I do something right. real quick? Um, yeah, go on. Well, and that... can I cast? Oh, no, 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 ahead. no, don't, no, don't, no, no. I was gonna no. cast sleep on the cat. Um, basically, Rourke, Rourke is gonna. Rourke... <laughs> Rourke is going to wait till the last second, and then duck out of the way, letting it fly out the window behind him. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Roll a dex check. <laughs> check, not save. You guys okay. are just so evil towards a cat! You're never, ever going to- I'm sorry, but that motherfucker came- I, I that, should that mention- That came out fucking hands flying, I I'm I going should, to end it. I should mention at this point, for Rixie's sake- Uh, this 14. This cat is already dead. Oh, zombie cat! Even worse, yeah. kill it. Uh, so, so we're going like we're going like uh, Stephen King's Animal Graveyard kind of. The cat rolled a nat one. You succeed. Oh damn! I I'm glad that I didn't cast sleep because undead don't sleep. <laughs> undead do not sleep. They are immune to. Immune I would have wasted a spell slot if I cast a sleep. The cat flies out the window. Never to be seen again. Alright, not. Yeah. I'm glad I yeeted that motherfucker. Yeah, the the alternative was probably that. wasn't going to be much more pleasant, so it's a good. Alright, there's the, just the one potion there, by the way. Uh, there was just the, the, the bottom shelf with three potions. But the, okay, label, the labels are written in Elvish. Do I know it's Elvish? You know it's a language you don't know. Alright, cool. Uh, I minor illusion, uh, like, uh, a glowing sign that just, like, flashes lights and says, uh, linguist needed. I mean, I can only understand four languages, so... Only four. <laughs> I understand two. Yeah, one of them is common for me. Fine. I look around wishfully. Go help. Miuja points at the bottles. I'm afraid I am not an archaeologist here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a linguist, so I'm not coming over. Well, she tries to read it. It's Elvish. She it's understands Elvish. Elvish. She understands Elvish. Yep. One of the uh, potions is labelled Shrink. One of the potions is labelled Grow. And another potion is labelled Vanish. Hmm. Need your question marks. She points them out as as, as they are like that's shrink, that's grow, that's vanish. Yoink shrink without hesitation. <laughs> well she takes vanish then. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now this is the moment of truth. Who wants the growth potion? <laughs> Alright, Muja is competent enough not to just immediately drink the fucking shrink potion. For now. She looks at Muja, she's like, You want the last one? Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I do. 
He doesn't say that. He just he nods fervently. Okay, take it. Yoink. I have the power of big and small. <laughs> Is there anything else in the cabinet? <laughs> Look at Alice in Wonderland over here. If largeness persists for more than four hours, please consult your clerk. <laughs> <laughs> I killed Abby on that. So, how many times have we broken the DM today? Uh, at least seven. <laughs> it's just a way you said I have the power of big and small. I don't know why that made me laugh, but it did. I have the power of God and anime on my side! <laughs> my side. Ah. I think that's why it made you laugh. Yeah, probably. Uh, is there anything else I can see? I'll do a perception check if necessary. Uh, yeah, I asked the same thing. Is there anything else in the cabinet? Um, roll, oh, I'm talking roll, general in the room. Roll perception checks for me, please. I'm, I, I'm just gonna ask, are you sure I can't click performance instead? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be at advantage. Yeah. No, it wasn't. I'll take the That's five. five. Yep. Cry. Perception, you say? Yeah. Alright. Oh. Uh, so much uh, for being an owl. Ugh, 16. 16? Yeah. Nope. Nothing else. Just a lot of clutter, a lot of dirt, a lot of... gross. And... Just a lot of gross. Right. Well. Wait, was that perception <laughs> for the room or just the cabinet? For me, that was for the cabinet. Oh, okay. okay. No, for the cabinet, for the no, you just see a lot of, just like... Well, there's a lot of bark and moss and bleh all over the cabinet. Can I do, like, a nature check or something to try and understand, like, the contents of these potions and what they'll do? Uh, More precisely okay. than shrink and grow. Yes. If you would like to. All right, cool. I mean, Emanita grabs anything that looks that looks fucking weird. So. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, you were you looking specifically at shrink and grow? Uh, yes. The only okay. one, yes. I I took the vanish. <laughs> okay. Uh, shrink is a potion of dim. Dimin diminutive. Dim diminution. Dimu diminution, yeah. Yes. And grow is a, a potion diminution. of growth. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Alright, are you heading up to the next floor? Yeah. Okie dokie. Maybe. She was one, she's one hundred percent going up there. Up. Everyone else is going up, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I was going up. Is there anyone else that's 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 asking? R R R is do going do any of you care up. or figure out where that little <clears throat> thing she went sent off went to? After I asked about what was uh, taken from me. Didn't it go upstairs? No. I didn't see that. Ah. Uh. I didn't see what it went. I just. Had... She said something in Sylvan I didn't understand, and it disappeared. I... I heard... a couple words. It's a lot more than I have to go on. But it makes... it makes little sense. We should... we should search this whole area. Up here. Thoroughly. Because all I heard it say was upstairs and locked. Lock. 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 Not, yes, not locked. locked. Upstairs uh, and lock. Okay, you guys have control over your characters. Um, I was 
I, I did put a uh, Ruark out by the window because I assume that's where he'd want to be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I immediately noticed something on this map that looks flammable. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were about ice. I am. But that doesn't mean I can't enjoy setting things on fire. <laughs> Assuming we don't, you know, immediately see the hag, uh, Pound's gonna try to, like, press her ear against the door to see if she can hear anything in this other room. Okay, before before you do that, I will describe this room to you. Okay. A ball of light bobs above the rafters, casting shadows over this room, in which the owner's messy habits are on full display. Rumpled and mouldering rugs share floor space with food scraps, stacks of dirty dishes, and tipped over clay pots whose plants have long since died. A bed that occupies one corner of the room has a pile of straw in place of a mattress. In the opposite corner stands a squat chest of drawers with a watering can resting atop it. The only other furnishing of note is a stocky wooden chest with a sturdy iron padlock. It sits in another corner between two closed doors. That's the thing in the bottom right, yeah. Uh, ba -ba -ba. This is this is the bed. Yeah, the uh, chest is in the bottom right here. Yes, this is the chest. Well, you did say a padlock. You did say something about a lock. And we have our resident expert lockpicker here. Not that I know anything about that because I didn't Air see quotes. any of it happening. Because I Muja say just, the top of the bed. Muja is currently just staring off into the abyss right now. Uh, Rourke is going to head over to the balcony doors and pop them open. Okay. The burglar alarm is set. <laughs> Uh, what were you trying to do, pal? Um, I'm just listening on the door to see if I can hear any movement in the next room. Make a perception check. FBI, open up. Natural 20 for 23. Alright, with that, you can hear... A small rustling noise. Nuke it. Like I'll it's also, so quiet. I'll signal to um, everyone. Like I won't say anything, but I'll just sort of like point, like feverishly at the door. Like I'm, I'm hearing something, trying to get people's attention. Where's the locked thing again? Perches on top of it and starts going to town on that fucking lock. Okay. The moment you try to, uh. Don't you do this to me! Pick the lock. A. Will of the Wisp. The glowing ball of light that is oh. illuminating your surrounding floats down and tries to attack you. All right, motherfucker. You get between me and a fucking uh, rock, huh? What's it attacking me with? What? What's it doing? <laughs> Give me a second. I don't even have a a, a thing for it. I'm sorry. It's just blinking menacingly. <laughs> it's just gro going into rave mode. It's. It's just gonna try and shock you. There's a... There's a 22 hit. Uh, 
I'll remember this. I'm not picking on you, it's in the guys. <laughs> that hits. <laughs> okay. Uh, you take... Nine lightning damage. What the fuck is this little sprite bastard made of? So, will a wisp Little fucking dickhead. You just only mildly <laughs> harmed by it because he still had his six temporary hit points from his uh, long rest under the night sky. Okay. Uh, so I take three damage. Okay. Uh, and Muja like jumps a bit at this shock from the will of the wisp. Uh, is it like still trying to attack me? <laughs> Yes. Alright. I get off the chest, I leave it alone. The Will-O-Wisp. Uh, backs off a little, but... Still kind of floating around the, the chest a little bit. He just starts uh, minor illusioning a very long piece of painted pair that is, uh, to summarize, a uh, peace treaty that he is drafting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyone else doing anything? Um. So is the chest open? Well, after <laughs> I uh, didn't get a chance. No. Well, well, after Muji gets tased, York is probably going to take a swing at the thing to get it away from him. Just fucking punch the. <laughs> Go for it. No, wait for it. If if it if it works, it works. If it doesn't, oh well. I'm probably getting tased as well. <laughs> I respect. I respect the hustle. <laughs> well, I mean, well, ba basically, like he's, you're standing right next to, or they're standing right next to each other, and basically this thing comes down and just immediately zaps the shit. Out, well, not really zaps the shit out of him, but you know. Biz lap. So, even out of reflex, yeah. it's more like, oh, this ain't cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, if you, want, if you want cool. to try and smack the wisp, you can. Okay. Of course, it all hinges on whether or not I... Whether or not you shit. hit, yeah. Uh... Oh, there it is. Does a 25 hit? Uh, yeah, it hits. Cool. Um, so I guess I'll just roll the damage. Six slashing. And then... I suspend a key point for a bonus action. Or, for their blows, excuse me. Boo. So... Larry of Blow, one. Oop. Does a 13 hit? No. Okay. Larry of Blow, two. Does a 17 hit? No. Okay. Extra attack. Yeah, that hits. Does a 26 hit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one hits. Here's the damage. <laughs> Seven slashing. Okay. Spend one more key point for Flurry of Blows. <laughs> Flurry of Blow one. Does a 23 hit? Uh, yeah. Oh, about fucking time. All right, hold on. Let me double check something. I can only do this if the flurry of blow hit lands. <laughs> Ruark is just going full on Jojo on this poor little Will of the Wisp. He really is. 
Okay, um... Let's see here. How about a strength save? DC 15. I can tell you now that's not gonna... Yeah. There. Not pass. Not pass? Cool. Uh, yeah, the wisp fails. Okay, so... What, what's that damage from the 23? So, so as a result... Oh, damage from the 23? Yeah. 10 slashing. Okay. You see this little wisp's light just okay. wink out of existence. Oh, damn it. You, <laughs> you just of course I go before I have a chance to fucking... Because... Because the thing is, is that because it failed its, its strength check, I've literally swapped that thing 15 feet away from me. Just slam it into the wall. Yoink. Slam the door. <laughs> no, no, I, I pretty much like round Falcon punch it out the door behind me <laughs> and then shut the door. But since I just obliterated the shit out of it, well, never mind. <laughs> he just shrugs and just goes back to picking the lock. With the will of the wisp. Now gone, is there any source of light in here? Uh, the doors down here are open, and the window is open. Or smashed in, I presume. How... roughly how bright does that make the, the, the room? Um... I'd say... Oh no, you get high fucking rolls. Twenty-five foot uh bright and then another twenty-five foot dim. I firebolt the bed. <laughs> I don't think there was a need for that, but okay. That's a bit fucking unnecessary. Uh, uh, you set fire to the bed. It's fine, there are ceilings in here. And before anyone else can do anything, let me just say, as Ruark was fighting the... Uh... The Wisp? Quote, unquote. <laughs> the... Uh, the door that, uh, Bowers at opens very slightly. I... Ready my axe to attack if I see the hag. You... Can we, I mean, we're both right up next to it. Can we see the door? Can I the have door. everyone who's looking at the door roll a perception check? I'm just. Uh, which door? I'm looking away because I was shooting right the bed with fire. Uh, this door. Um, you're fighting the uh, the wisp yeah. during this yep. time. Nope, that's fine. That's fine. Just, just making sure I got the right door. Okay. What do I see with a five? Uh... You see a door. It's made of wood. Actually, with it being dim light, you probably don't even see a door. You think you see a door. It might be made mm. out of wood. <laughs> Veldrasen. You see a spool of thread rolling along the floor. It's a hand grenade. Amanita, you and only you see that it is in fact a shadow that is carrying the spool of thread. And you see it very quickly for it disappears very quickly once it leaves that room. Not gonna attempt to grab it? Oh yeah, she's gonna attempt to grab it. I just wanted to make sure she was done saying it. It's <laughs> it's it's moving very fast. Once it's it a very fast bunny. Roll uh Dexterity. What are the dexterity checks? I should have a list. What you mean the skill ones? Yeah. Like, uh, 
acrobatics, sleight of hand, stealth. Those ones? Athletic is strength. That's why I said acrobatics. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Uh, straight decks then, please. Straight. Straight decks. Uh, yes, but at disadvantage, if you will. At disadvantage? Yep. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, no, she ain't catching it. Go on, what did you roll? The highest is a 14. And yeah, the lowest you, is a 13. You do not catch it. As quickly as you, as you see it, make sense of it, it's gone. Is it is it just like a wrapped up spool or was there a, a was it trailing a thread or what? Oh no, it's wrapped up. It took the whole thing. Okay. The door's slightly open. Can I try and open the door? Uh, yeah, you can. And I do I have a feeling that that was first, his passion, so. the first thing that you see when you open the door is a uh, dead lawnling on the floor. Kind of about here-ish. Mm -hmm. What did you see exactly? Um. What did you try to grab? You said first... Uh... Oh yeah, she tried to grab it, so she would be like around here, wouldn't she? Yeah. Um, she would basically be on the floor because she threw herself at it. <laughs> she just looks up like, did she not see the spool of thread? Spool of thread? What? One person is acting strange. No, Veldrasen saw it as well. He just didn't see the shadow that was carrying it. What spool of thread? Was it moving on its own? No. It wasn't. Um, also, uh, Muja, you do in fact break through the lock with a 26 Thieves Tools. Huzzah. Before, before we move on too far, you, you do manage to do that. Thank Christ. No. <laughs> um, With the 26? Oh, your tools break. The padlocked chest has clawed iron feet and the initials BD crudely uh, card carved into its lid. Um, it's been about a minute since you started. Um, and with a successful check of 26, you managed to open it. Uh... Wait, wait, what was in there with the engraved initials? Uh, I haven't said what's in it yet. Oh, I thought you said... No, it was like on the lock. Yeah. Okay, because I thought you just described what was inside the chest. So no, no, didn't no. didn't quite yeah. catch it. Um, oh. And what was engraved with the initials BD? B, B. Oh. Um... It, it, just, it, just had, it just had, like, clawed iron feet. It's a fancy-looking chest. Anyway, inside that chest, you find a 12-inch tall marionette. Fucking mine. It has faces on opposite sides of its head. One, Never mind. One, oh. Maybe fuck. And for those of you that are fans of the FNAF series, one face is a moon and the other is a sun. Oh, no. Yeah. I throw oh, it out the no. door. Um, you also the door is closed. <laughs> you also, <laughs> Damn it! You also find an unpunched ticket from the witch-like carnival. Cool, I throw it. <laughs> and you also find three scrolls. 
<laughs> oh. I just like how oh, at the okay. mention of scroll, oh, Granny has suddenly appears. No, I was curious as to what was in the chest to begin with. His his the... scroll sounds tingling. The... It's just funny timing. <laughs> it's not the scrolls. I actually wanted to see what was on the ticket. Uh, it's a witch-like carnival ticket, and it is signed by Isold. I don't know if you ever found out about who Isold is, but it's it's Isold who signed it. The name means nothing to Ruark. It wouldn't mean anything to Ruark, Pau, or Muja, but to the other three. Muja, Muja does a big who cares I face. I don't know why, but that name just seems familiar. Was she? <laughs> Was that the name of the people we went? Wound up getting together? Or was that someone no, else? That no, was... no, that was the mermaid. mermaid. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, they- Yeah, they you were... missed- you missed like a whole shit ton. Yeah, they managed um, to, uh, marry- You missed the snail people. racing. The snail yeah, racing. the amazing snail race. I'm sad now. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fun. Um, yes. Uh, these three scrolls are all tied together with a loop string. Fucking yoink that string. We should probably lock that. I ignore the scrolls, I take the loop string. Any points at the marionette. I'm sorry, you, you point at the marionette? Yeah, no, Rourke is like, we should lock that back in the box. <laughs> Any points at the marionette. Muja looks at the marionette and uh, picks it up out of the uh, chest. Rourk leans back and slowly opens the balcony door again. You just start slow dancing with the marionette. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Uh, did anyone take the scrolls or are you just leaving them there? Oh, I took the string uh, that was wrapping them together. Okay. Kranios, did you want to take the scrolls? Fine, I suppose I should. I should. Oh god. I'm not trying to push I mean, you guys into anything. I'm just trying to get you guys to... I mean, these scrolls aren't going to cast themselves. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, you can, like, unfurl them and find out what they are, but... If you but just want to leave them as a mystery... Rark's not in the scrolls. I'm mildly curious, but the moment Coronial saw it wasn't his stuff. Well, presumably isn't his stuff. Who knows, actually? That's the point. It might just be care. something else. Yeah. Muja to tosses the uh, marionette aside like a discount whore and uh, looks at the scrolls curiously now. Yeah, I was about to look at them as well. <laughs> as a fan of the very odd and peculiar, she picks up the uh, the marionette. <laughs> Red Rom. Red Rom. You're my friend now. You're my friend now. Uh, We're having soft uh, talk to us uh, later. Talk later. <laughs> oh, okay, so the other room that you guys have opened. This musty room looks like a miser's attic. Lying in tall heaps are discarded blankets, quilts, cushions, and clothing of all shapes and sizes. Not to mention musical instruments, toys, dolls, jewelry boxes flower vases, child-sized caskets, and broken furniture. Among the heaps of junk are a few oddities, including a stag skull hanging on one there, 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 hanging on one wall, a white porcelain jar with chicken legs standing on a table, a fancy helmet placed on the faceless head of a wooden mannequin, and a five foot long bronze statue of a giant frog squatting in a corner, its mouth agape and filled with impenetrable darkness. A weak croaking sound calls your attention to a tiny shriveled figure lying on the floor, which is the lawnling that I've already said about. I'm sorry, can I ask just a quick question about yeah. the, uh, this? Is it just me, or does this look like there's a uh, frog mat, like like some kind of bearskin mat? I'm I'm I think that's supposed to be the vase with chicken feet, but ah, uh, I see. Okay. Yeah, they haven't they haven't drawn it very well. This is not the official. It looked like this is not the official. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, I'll, so. that's probably the vase with chicken feet. 
Yeah, no, I see it. No, I, I was just looking at it. It looked like it was just some kind of like it frog looks, mat. <laughs> it looks like a but, baby that's been squished by something to me. But, yeah, you know. exactly. But I, I am more impressed with the golden toad toilet over here. <laughs> that's a toilet? No. I mean, who knows? Is Karanios going to unfurl the scrolls? I thought you just said you were unfurling them. Oh, I thought you I thought you took them already. I was planning to look at them, but you still had them. Oh. Maybe one uh, of them says here lies Karenios's fashion sense. Karenios uh oh not Muja is going to hand Karenios one of the scrolls and looks at uh Ruark and offers one. You all gonna unfurl one together. Ruark yeah, take one for each. I I'm cry. going to roll a d3, and that is the scroll I get. I get scroll one. <laughs> fun. M Miuja opens both of the other ones. He's just getting all of the two for threes. Yeah, Rurik just doesn't really have an interest in scrolls. The scrolls that you unfurl, all three of them, are scrolls of identify. Oh, all of them, huh? Yeah. God damn it. Do you want to hold on to these, or...? Mija tosses it over his shoulder and starts walking away. I catch it with Mage Hand and, uh... Just sort of start stuffing them into my robe, I suppose. Uh, what has... Uh, out of curiosity, what has, uh... Emanita done with the, uh, marionette? Oh, she's sitting down on the, on the floor and she's just looking at it like... I like this. Oh, are you How just looking at where I tossed it? <laughs> How big is it again? Uh, hold on, let me find the description again. 12 inches tall. Yes, it's about a foot tall. It's not that big. Yeah. About the size of a Subway sandwich. Oh, she's putting it in her bag. Yeah. <laughs> she wants all kinds of cursed objects. <laughs> Yucho watches that shit happen. Okay, I'm just it doesn't look like she's come up here. Just gonna make a note of that. Yes. Yeah. I don't like when I hear the DM say that he's making notes. <laughs> I'm gonna. Pal's gonna walk up to the weak looking creature in here with just axe <laughs> out ready just in case because. Oh no, it's dead. It's happened. already dead. Okay. It, I, I'm it still died. gonna have axe out. Listen, we've seen undead things in this place already. I'm not trusting it. Curbs tomp it, to be sure. Amanita, right. there's a bunch of other weird stuff in here. You might be interested. <laughs> oh. I can imagine Amanita's eyes <laughs> flaring. Oh, they, they been... absolutely are. But, but Muja also hears about miles, weird so shit and, just... <laughs> like, she joins Amanita. <laughs> You still have to explain why you fell ears. over. Her ears are uh, a different tale. Uh <laughs> Karanios just calls after as she sprints off. You, you still haven't explained why you fell over. Oh, um, I tried to catch the thread that was being taken by Shadow. I, I don't know. A shadow. What it was? Yes. I didn't catch I it. I so. get the feeling that we're not the only ones who robbed here, to, who are here to uh, take things from this room. Then. What do you mean? You remember the uh, second voice that was in the room before I went in? Well, they were a lovely uh -huh. individual with a very nice big hat, I believe, covered in grey robes, and also they didn't seem to have a shadow as they were leaving the room. Ah, that would make sense why there was only a shadow taking the thread. Anyways, that's why I fell over. Okay, well, hopefully they didn't come here to take exactly what I'm looking for. If you see anything in there that looks like a fashion sense, let me know. I don't know, a thread sounds a lot like a fashion sense. Yeah, exactly. Why do I have a feeling hey, that you she's... never know. It could be inside the uh, chicken-legged vase. 
Like, uh, above board, why do I have a feeling that that person stole your fashion sense to make a deal? Ugh. What's it? So, question about Gold Boy here. <laughs> yeah. He's my uh, Disney. The, the, the mouth is, like, open and just void inside. Yep. No toilet. Don't crawl in. Don't How crawl big in. is it? Don't crawl in. Don't crawl in. Don't do it. I'm asking a question. That's all I'm doing. It's just void. No, as in, like, how big is it? Oh, the the frog. The mouth. How how open is it? You you can stick your arms in there, pretty pretty comfortably. No hesitation. Sticks hand in it. Your arm disappears into the darkness, and it feels as though your fingers are pushing through cool mud with eels swimming through it. <laughs> Yuja would cringe if he had facial control. <laughs> Instead, he just kind of deadpans and like, has this aura of, like, I've made a major mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I continue to feel around, though. <laughs> I want to find it, something in this fucker. Are you trying to find something specific? Anything that I can grab? That isn't just mud? Or eels. Or eels, if there are you... actual eels in here. Okay, uh, you find nothing in that case. Alright, fine. Mewja yeah, pulls his arm out and starts sobbing. <laughs> He feels your arm, violated. Your, your, your arm comes out clean. Oh, uh, Mia just doesn't sob anymore. Um, I'm gonna need to just uh, thoroughly investigate the whole area to find anything that could uh, be tied to a fashion sense. Plot twist. He never had one. <laughs> <laughs> Considering um, what we found in the chest, maybe look out for carnival tickets. No idea if the names match or anything, but maybe there's labeling of some kind in here. I'll I'll keep that in mind. But yeah, she would definitely do a thorough search. Above board. Do you guys remember the Scarecrow? I remember, I remember my remember best boy. The, I remember a Scarecrow being mentioned. Do you do... remember that he didn't have a head? I remember my boy. Do you remember that he was looking for his head and he described his head to you? As yes. What is exactly nope. on the wall right now? Yep. Yeah. I just wanted to nudge you guys into... I had actually. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, I know yeah, it's I been a while. That's, that's, that's why his name was Clapper Oh, oh God, you have to forget, one. best the boy. Little boy. Yeah. The little, yeah, the little, the little guy from the, from the village. The little boy who okay. was yeah. sad. Yeah. The one on the bridge that was surrounded by toxic fucking redditors. <laughs> um. Hmm. Okay, now I remember him. She, uh, Amanita would definitely grab that, uh, tie some rope around it and tie it to her, uh, to her waist. Okay, you take this really impressive, uh, 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 stag skull. Well, if it's a stag skull, it's pretty big. She would tie it to her back instead, then. Yeah, she would. But yeah, she's looking for something that could look anything like um, it would have something to do with the lost fashion sense. Yuja will just search in general. Um, make, a, uh, make an investigation, Rexy. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> no. I have no more bardic inspiration to give. <laughs> I haven't used the bardic inspiration, actually. Oh, well. Yeah, it's with your inner bun. 
Doesn't it disappear after a certain amount of time? Uh, it lasts like a while. Oh, yeah, okay. once within the next 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. Uh, and that's a d6? Uh, yep. Thank you, that pushed me up to 24. Um, mm. you find a scrawled half note, I guess, um, that begins with uh, a half sentence that was cut off, uh, saying, Gold Frog. And then it begins with a new sentence saying, you must wish for something directly. Oh, thank god Mirja didn't find that, otherwise you'd all be fucked. <laughs> Yo, Karadios! Yes? Can you uh, come in here for a sec? She, oh, no, she, uh... I accidentally morphed inside you. <laughs> <laughs> Become one. <laughs> Become one. Oh, oh you. Um. She. <laughs> Mew just starts. <laughs> covers his eyes. Um. What language? Is, language is it in? Um. It would be in Sylvan. Do you that's understand some... Sylvan? That's some very fancy writing. I have no idea what it says. Oh, um, and she relays what it says. Can you please repeat it for my benefit? Uh, yes. Uh, so it's, it's like a scrap of a note, um, and it says, Gold Frog must wish directly. It's like cut off. It's like a bit of a note, but it's sort of been ripped in half, and it's, this is the left half. It's been like cut, like ripped out of a notebook, or or the parchment that it was on got ripped in two places, and this is like the middle segment. Not Ooh. not vertically, horizontally. Gold frog must wish directly. Yeah, could that has something to do with what you're missing? I have absolutely no idea. Is there a golden frog in the room? Over there. <laughs> Muja <I> blinks. <laughs> it's, it's over just there turns 180 points. degrees. Ah, well, that's a good place to start. Muja's actually going to get on top of the dra the big gold frog and just ride it. <laughs> <laughs> you found a yeah, big brother for Jonathan the third. <laughs> Oh yeah, he he takes Jonathan the Third out of his pocket and places on like the top of the frog's head. Put it inside the frog's mouth. Oh god! I will never no, lose another god. Jonathan again. Frog for the frog god, yo. <laughs> the night time is the right time. Perhaps in another timeline. <laughs> oh, Amanita. Yes. If someone you swipes insert... Jonathan. <laughs> Could you insert frog A into the mouth of frog B? <laughs> <laughs> you try to swipe Jonathan, you will be ended. The logic is irrefutable. The only thing your name will appear on is the sense <laughs> is the fucking obituaries. <laughs> Alright, Karanius, in front of you is a five foot tall because it's kind of sitting. Um, really bronze. Bronze. <laughs> <laughs> but this is not turning into PvP, you guys. Uh, no, I'm, uh, I'm in the other room anyways. I'm just yeah, yeah. <laughs> a gold frog statue. Uh, there is a magical darkness inside the mouth, which you can pop your arms into quite comfortably if you'd like to. Must wish. Mm. 
I get the feeling that this is a terrible idea, but one of us is inevitably going to try it, so... I stand in um, front of the, uh, very um, mysterious void frog. Go. I mean, it's I wish, your fashion sense missing, yep, so... I wish to recover my fashion sense. I then plunge my arm, not the one with my arcane focus ring on it, into the frog's mouth. You manage to grab a hold of something small and round like a marble. I attempt to grab hold of it and retrieve it. You pull your arm out of the, the frog? I do. Alright. Well, I try to. You do? With the marble. He just looks angry. <laughs> I examine the marble. Angry because I did it because I stuck my hand in the frog or angry because I got a marble? Angry because you yeah, stuck your hand in and got something out of it. <laughs> I examine the marble. The marble has like a uh, color shifting mist swirling inside of it. Remembering how those creepy store owners who were victims of a freak weather phenomena <laughs> used their marbles. I will attempt to press the marble to my forehead and if that doesn't do anything, see if I can what can I there's I honestly don't know this, but is there a way that you can just sort of manipulate not actually cast a spell, but just sort of manipulate the weave to just sort of get magic to try and flow through an item or not i'm not entirely uh, sure uh, no i'm gonna Probably say not. no fair enough well i just I... touch the marble to my forehead and hope something happens uh nothing happens my friend Muja, Muja my minor illusions a little peanut and like pops it into his mouth and points my at Corinthians. I narrow my eyes. <laughs> eat the marble. I don't think he's supposed to eat the marble. I minor illusion another peanut in his hand. And then I minor illusion a hand stealing it and just... <laughs> I'm not going down this route. <laughs> Dude, wait, no, we've already said I've done it. It's too late. Minor, minor illusion another hand. peanut and then I minor illusion that peanut being slapped away. <laughs> I then pull out one of the three scrolls that I got, because I am far too curious about this frog marble to not use one. Okay. And I shall use an identify scroll on this marble. Alright. You uh, successfully identify that this is your lost fashion sense, and to hey. retrieve it from the marble, you must smash the marble. Plot twist, it's a suppository. Wait, is that what is that what Amanita has to does to get her icon back from her Yeah, mobile? yeah, it is. Well, oh, I wasn't she, she don't know it to that. that easy. Yeah. She's kept it with all the other eyeballs. Oh my god, I fucking forgot you had that whole fucking box. I'm question mark pinging IRL right now. Yeah, I turn to Amanita. If you still have that marble of yours, it appears that this might be the way to undo it. I then oh. walk over to a uh, pump. A resident barbarian with a big axe. I swing it up onto my shoulder and get ready. Would you ever so be ever so kind as to smash this for me, please? I then put the marble on the floor. I have mild concern about this methodology. <laughs> what if like, like Rourke would have, it on a, the floor Rourke would have some thoughts about this if he was in the room. <laughs> I more mean that I'm worried that... Uh, actually, no, uh, Mage is not talking. Before the like, at, like it's moments after your hand leaves, the axe is already coming down and smashing it. You smash the marble and Karenios. You have a sudden sense of what the fuck am I wearing? <laughs> okay, I was just mildly concerned that 
It was whoever I'm, smashes it gets the yeah, fucking that's what I was thinking. I, I, was, I was waiting for Pal smashes the marble and suddenly he's cursed with absolutely horrific fashion sense. <laughs> <laughs> I trust in the random scroll we found locked in a chest in a hag's attic. Yeah, but it did I just say that... that I'm not... Yeah, what was the exact wording details. of it again? Uh... Oh god, I made it up on the fly. Uh, to, okay, understandable. Yeah, uh, to retrieve what is less, you must smash. Basically. Yeah, I'll smash. smash There's yeah, literally okay. no visible like change this is going. that takes place. A marble has just been smashed. Yes. Yeah. I no longer want that hat. If you <laughs> the incredibly ugly like hat that, that I found and fought downstairs. Yep. I'll take it. Oh, look at Mr. Versace over here. The hat that I believe I put on top of the frozen gelatinous cube. I won't take it. <laughs> I won't actually take it. <laughs> oh, it's still there. I just put it on top of the ice cube. Can can we get things that we lost yeah. from the frog then? I think that I only managed to get it because it was there, being kept there in the first place. Oh. The... A wooden horse told me that uh, Bavlorna was in possession of it, and it seems that I owe that carousel a drink. <laughs> I assure you I'm not insane. You did you finally minor me the wine? <laughs> not yet. No, I owe the carousel a drink. Oh. You did minor illusions a piece of paper that asks, are you sure you're not crazy? Mostly. I did just stick my arm into a void mouth, void frog's mouth. Muja taps the paper and it just says, I did that and I didn't get anything in return. And he just <laughs> angrily hops off the frog but did after you picking up to Jonathan. It's a toilet. It's a magical toilet. Muja thinks for a second. Sorry, Doc, what did you say? No, nothing worth hearing. <laughs> oh, okay. Each of my illusions is paper. Toad toilet. <laughs> Muge of my illusions is paper again, and asks, "Do I have to speak the wish out loud?" I have absolutely no idea. No idea. The little apparently the little note says, "Just wish directly." Muge of big think, <laughs> and you think I you see think steam coming out of his ears. <laughs> If you wish for Jonathan, I don't think it'll fit out of the mouth. He slowly single tear drops oh. from his cheek. That was out of character, by the way, not for me. <laughs> not <in laughs> no, I think you. Well, didn't the rest of you say you lost stuff and you wanted it back? Uh, Abby. Yeah? Uh, if... Mew just sticks his hand in there. Can I uh, DM you what he wishes for in his head? Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> I've just seen the frog toilet dogs posted. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, everyone's still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um... <laughs> Everyone just went really silent while I was typing. I yeah. Guess. Sorry, I'm just trying not to cough over Mike. Oh, no, no, that's fine. I'm just making sure that I'm not losing... My internet... I think I need a new router, so my internet's been really fucking spotty the last couple of days, so... Don't I fucking know it. <laughs> I'm with you just there, brother. Sure I'm not losing a connection here, or I have to run out and poke my shit. Ugh. Holy fuck. I don't even know what this means. Holy fuck, Cass. What the fuck? I don't know what this means. Uh, alright. What, what, what means? No, <laughs> nothing right now.
So, uh, pretty sure. Abby's trying to process what I've done. <laughs> I really am. Like, Alright, um, am I... I can fit in that mouth hole. Am I allowed to say what you get out loud, or...? Oh, it, it, whatever he gets, he'd pull it out and, like, it, it would be in his hand and he'd just open it to look. It wouldn't be anything secretive. Okay. You pull a ring out of the frog's mouth. You just, you just uncertain at this point. <laughs> Hmm. Maybe it's maybe it's not just things that the hag has then. Unless you've requested something the hag has, Muja. Well, I am uncertain, to be perfectly honest. I'm sorry. Oh, it, well, hmm. apologies. I never really explained it to you all, have I? Oh, he's looking at you with very, very wide eyes. He's scratching his head right now with his other hand, like while he looks at the uh, ring. Well, a simple, simple story, really. I very dedicated to my craft, and I took a vow of silence to, um, well, never speak until I found my muse, and. Um, well, that's what I wished for, and now this is what I'm holding. So I suppose I've found my muse, but I'm uncertain of what this is, really. What does the uh, ring look like? It's a simple gold band with... Um, uh, Sylvan script uh, all the way around it. Did I find the one ring? <laughs> <laughs> well, throw no. it in the fire and see if it lights up. Nah, motherfucker, I'm fucking wearing that. Uh, uh, no. What does the Sylvan No, no, no. Oh, no you... Like, the normal fire will light up the inscription on the inside. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I reach into the... Uh pocket of my robe where I stash the scrolls of identify and I pass one over. He takes it I timidly. Use one for, what, for what I got, it's only fair. He nods. I thank you. And I'll use the scroll of identify on it. Uh yeah, sure, that's fine. Um listen, can I get back to you on what it is? Alright, cool. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. Hey, okay. I, you, you you basically just asked No, me to we need it now. <laughs> make you something <laughs> on the You don't the have fly. a table that you can roll a D one thousand on for magical rings? No. I mean if you want if you want, I can help you make something uh later on. Uh absolutely, we can do that together. Because I think that would, yeah, it make Wait. Uh oh no. I just thought <laughs> of a terrible terrible joke. I'm simultaneously fucking baffled, but I love how this has turned out. <laughs> I'm just saying, we were making. I was making the joke earlier about when you were giving your bardic inspiration, it just being the friggin' duty boys from Lanedale. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have found the Elden Ring. The Elden Ring. <laughs> I'm John Elden Ring now. I am John Elden. Kill me. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, uh, yeah we'll, no, we'll, to we'll above board just. To the above board mention to you guys what happened, I DM'd uh, Abby saying that he's going to wish for his muse, and uh, I he, she asked me to roll a d20, and I rolled a nat 20. Oh. <laughs> above, above board, 10 and under was going to be he doesn't get anything. <laughs> so, I was kind of hoping he was going to roll a 10 or under, and then he came out with a nat 20. So I made him roll a d100, and uh, I looked up the chaos table, and for what he rolled, it said uh, that it was uh, something, uh, something, something, something small. And I was like, oh, okay, I can work with that. So, I can work with this. Yeah. So I, I gave him basically 
It's going to be uh, a ring of summoning is question mark working on it, but um, yeah. Pog, I get to summon something. <laughs> yeah, we'll, some we'll, kind we'll of work on it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mute is just kind of, kind of looks baffled, like as baffled as he can with that what limited expression he has on his face. I, well. Fundamentally speaking, my vow is fulfilled, but simultaneously, I'm still uncertain about what this is, really. Do not... F I am positive it is my muse, but it is also something I am unfamiliar with. If I were a wise person, I might say something along the lines of that perhaps that is part of the process. But well, I ha well, honestly have no idea. Well, you aren't wrong in one sense, but simultaneously well, peculiar. But, well, I'm no longer to be known as the mute bard. I need to find a new title, I suppose. You could always stick your hand into the frog again. No, uh, well, mm. it was an unpleasant experience the first time, and the second time I just barely managed to uh, pull out this, so... Fair enough. I think for now the frog will be left unmolested. Karanios just calls out, does anyone else want to use the magical wishing frog? <laughs> uh, Paul's gonna have just a sort of deadpan look. Um, she left the axe, leaned against the, the door frame. It says, I I want to try something. I go right ahead. Yep. Um, sort of steps aside. I'm going to go in, kneel. I, is it like you have to like kneel at it to, down to its higher? Depends how tall you are. Yeah. True. And just... Yeah, and I'll, I'll say this um, openly, at least to anyone who's like actively listening. I wish for Chrissy back and put my hand in and see what happens. Nothing. About to pull a full on person, though. Nothing happens. Pal just gets up. <laughs> Get me out of here, what the fuck? <laughs> Get me out! <laughs> <laughs> it's just... so dark in here, why are there eagles <laughs> everywhere? Smells <laughs> <was> like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll just sort of slowly move back, pick up her axe, and just say, Okay, who's who's next? Well, I believed Endelin to have mine, but I can try, I suppose. And I'll reach in. He just leans it's, over. Seeing if it's got my height. He just leans over it to Kratilis and is like, no. What the fuck not. is he talking about? Yeah, I figured it wouldn't have what the others have. Yeah, and then I'm gonna swap with my ass. <laughs> Basically, the lot of us all lost some things at a carnival <coughs> when we were young. Then we went back, no. all happened to go to that same carnival a little while ago. We rode on the carousel, and the wooden unicorns decided to talk to us and tell us where our stuff was. It sounds so crazy when you say it out loud. Ryuja blinks. Well, that checks out. So, you all right. lost something then. Yep. You lost your... Fashion sense, was it you said? Indeed. That speaks for itself, to be fair. What about you, Emanisa? Well, I can't smile. Now that is a truly monstrous thing to lose. Who stole it from you and where can I kill them? Uh, give me two seconds, I need to go back to note one. Me, Vivid or your... Uh, <laughs> 
He chose <laughs> violence today after he f figuring out that he just <laughs> wasn't doing much spellcasting. Yeah, I was gonna say it's uh, Endolin. Endolin. Yeah. Endolin. Yeah. Endolin what, what? would be Yon, I believe. Yon. Well, I'm not tired, but... Hmm. Yeah, so... Uh... The thing that I lost is probably the least important and impactful, really. Oh, what did... I didn't quite hear what the... Good Sir Vildresen wished for back. It, she she. I'm sure. <laughs> She, she kind of just whispers like, He lost his hide. I'm regrettably short. Muja, the seven foot tall owl man, <laughs> blinks. Hmm. And this was all, all of this was stolen from you three when you were children. Yes. Yep. From the same... Fair? Yes, mm -hmm. though. Yep. Maybe not same... necessarily at the same time. Or... Yeah, okay, that was my next question of curiosity. We didn't even know that they were gone until we returned. Hmm. Oh, I knew something was up. This will make a Just... fascinating poem. Maybe a that song. Reminded. Oh, trust me, there's a lot of interesting things at the fair. There was an eating contest, snail race. Oh, I couldn't care less about the fair, to be honest. It's more about you three. People are what I find fascinating. Yeah, well, that's one thing we don't have in common, then. Mm. Oh, snap. Perhaps you haven't found the right people, then. No, it's more likely I've been with the wrong kind of people. Meeting the wrong people just means you need to look. I don't know. I'm blaming My apologies. Them, I, I do not. It is not my place to speak. It's it is. Okay. It is rude to do so. I do my not apologies. Hide. The village I lived in did not like me. Well, <laughs> a failure on their part then to see the good in yourself well there were some very fun rumors about me but puss came to shove they didn't like me it is a loss on their part then i'm very glad to have you alongside well this party in general and i'm very glad to have all of you i was rather alone before those brigands swept me up. Goodness, it is so nice to be able to speak for once. God, if I had known how much I had in my fucking voice, I would have never taken that damned oath of silence. <laughs> well... Shall we find one of the hags that uh, is hopefully running around this place and put an end to her tyranny? Oh, if she has two cents about her, she's run off like a little... Good chance she's gone by now with how long you guys are picking around the loot. Kind of a wonder well, the house hasn't completely burnt down by now. Well, we could always see if we can find her inside the frog, but... I'm starting to get back downstairs. Honestly, by this point... We don't really need her anymore. I mean... Yeah, for the fashion sense. But we did make a promise. Well, we were going to Which try and free to... these realms. Exactly. Uh, so... Do any of you have a method of tracking this Bavlorna and where she's gone? Oh, uh, wait. One thing I just thought of, Rixie. Uh huh. Did you have your hunter's mark on her when she disappeared? Yes. I'm Looks trying to remember DM. if hunter's mark. It helps. does give you. You know where. Yeah. 
No, she doesn't. Um, I cry. Above board, uh, she phase shifted. Not on the same plane, then. Plane shifted? Yep. Yeah. That little fucking uh, You don't bitch. know where it is. You have advantage on perception or survival checks to track it or to find it. Uh, doesn't say anything about, um... I'm probably plane. mixing it up with, like, one of the dozen other things that, you, that are out there for tracking people through planes. Or not planes, but through long distances and just knowing exactly where they are. I know I have one on... I'm, uh, not Amity. No, I have one. I can't remember. Hmm. Well, um, this is somewhat problematic. We did say we planned to try. Well, there, is, there isn't much to be done if we've lost her, realistically. I mean, we've I tried, we've done our best, we've fought her, but... Magic is, well, to be perfectly frank, and no offense to you at all, Granios, a bit of a fucking bitch. Well, I know I'm no Harry, pleasant person now. to be around in the more- Oh, you meant magic itself? Magic itself, yes, not the people who use it. You have a very foul mouth. I My like apologies. That. Yeah, well- I do not find that there is any necessary requirement to hold one's tongue when expressing themselves. If you feel sorrow or anguish, you cry. If you feel anger, you cuss out like you're a sailor. And we ask the Red Cap if they know any way of getting to the Hag now. You can try. I was pitching it to the party. Just pound, just. Oh. Worth a shot, though. Considering this is quite clearly her home, I'm not entirely sure where she would run to or if she would even abandon it to begin with. Well, if you're about to die, home doesn't mean much if you're dead. Hmm. We have now. A if we can't very figure tough... out a, if we can't figure out a way to find her ourselves, there is certainly a chance that we could at least cause some friction between her and her sisters. Oh, I thought you were going to suggest we burned down our house. I was very much. Oh, I was going to that suggest idea. that as part of my plan. Where are oh, you? then yes, I'm You're very much on board with this plan. I was simply going to suggest we burn down the house and then just leave a note saying love from and then one of her sister's names. Hmm. Is there one that we could easily pin this on? There are two. Well, I know that there are two sisters, but I would more mean is there one that might be more likely to do this? Or to Maybe have had the opportunity. Maybe Endolin. Maybe Endolin. Endolin. I'm going to say this out of character, but considering how we just tried to curb stomp the shit out of her and she knows that there's a pack of um, <laughs> wild psychos like around her house, I mean, I, I think she's smart enough to realize that if the house burnt down, it probably was us. Yes, but on whose orders? She doesn't know who we work for. Just leave and just burn the place down. Leave a note saying, "Sorry, we were working for. Sorry, but we had a deal we couldn't break with. Insert name here. Insert name here. Bavlorna, yes, of course, the perfect scapegoat. He starts walking away. <laughs> Hmm. 
Sounds like a plan to me. Well, that's last resort, really. Why can't it be first resort? Because there are still ways we could ask to find her and maybe see if there's a potentially better use for the house than simply burning it down, though I highly doubt it. Have you seen the state of this place? Oh, absolutely. You got your fashion sense back. Have you gotten at least your sense of home decor back? Oh, uh, that's something I never lost. Oh, thank goodness. If there were a use for this place besides uh, being utterly and completely a place of waste disposal, I imagine it would have been put to better use that way, but beyond repair, if you ask me now. I think we should at least give the red cap a heads up. They seemed pretty pleasant towards us. Oh, I didn't. Oh, red cap, sorry. Heavens, my apologies. I must have miscommunicated. I didn't mean to burn the people inside. Even the slime should be allowed to escape, if you ask me. But personally, isn't that dead? Uh, uh, it's frozen it's in a cube. It's a gelatinous ice cube because, with a very ugly hat. I mean, for all we know, it could still be alive. It just needs to thaw out. I've heard I've heard many a story on my travels about things coming out of the ice alive. Oh. And I'll usher to the stairs, shall we? Um, Heavens, I find it so peculiar to speak now. It's so unnatural. You know, I like it. I'll need time to get I'll need time to get used to it, but I'm happy to be able to speak more conveniently rather than needing to rely on my magic to express. Though there was a certain charm to it. But yes, I imagine being able to speak being quite the improvement on conveying what you mean. Makes things easier, I suppose, yes. But we'll have to see if I truly have found my muse. I'll need time to properly inspect and learn from it. Indeed. And a potentially soon-to-be-burnt-down house is not the place to be doing that. I don't know, perhaps the light would be nice. Well, I set the bed on fire, if you want to go check over there. <laughs> he does look over and remember, as you say that, that the bed's on fire right now. Quite right. He just goes over and, like, sits down next to it like a campfire. <laughs> There was the distillery. If you want to set this place on fire, that'd be a good place to start. I do want to just point point out at this point that this fire has been burning for a little while, and it might start to spread soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just nod it, like, like it probably smells absolutely nasty. Oh, we're probably smoking ourselves out right now, because I doubt those windows are open, and it's already noxious enough in here, I imagine. Um, yes, the window is open, along with the door that Ruark is currently standing beside. Oh, I yeah. thought that was closed. Ruark. Oh yeah, you opened it when- <laughs> you opened it when I picked up the, uh, mannequin. Yeah. Which you threw away and I took. And put in my bag. A, a fine addition to my collection. Exactly. Uh, Yuja, like, looks thoughtfully at the fire and, like, it's roaring. And he's like, mm. yes, we do have limited time, I believe. Kranios just sort of steps up. Fine, I'll fix it. And I will learn. Oh, no, please don't fix it. I think it 
uh, I think it'll improve the look of the place. It's less that I'm thinking of the look of the place, but more... I'm probably not the only one who had something stolen. Then again, if the place burns down, it might just break everything and return it to its owner. I mean, your thing had to be broken, didn't it? True. Uh, well, Pal... Then. All right, Pal goes back up to the wishing frog. Fire and extinguisher. Just... <laughs> it's like, I wish for all the things that have been stolen to be returned. Mm, nothing happens. Damn. Worth a shot. So, so did uh, did Muja reclaim Jonathan the Third, or is he still sitting on the uh, tow toilet over there? Oh no, he, he yeah he reclaimed Jonathan the Third as when he hopped off the frog. You sure about that? I said it. God Cause, damn it! Because I'm, I'm noticing Vilgerson's uh, clone still standing over there. <laughs> you crush that frog. I crush your existence. No, 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 no! Don't, don't crush him. Just insert it into the tow toilet mouth. No, my boy. Burning house, it's, giant it's fire. It's still a really good idea. <laughs> it's a really good idea. But no. But never in your fucking dreams. <laughs> Yuja nods uh, sagely and is like, Yes, this will do perfectly well, I believe. And if there is anything left here that needs to be broken to return to its owner, it will most likely be returned in due course. I, I see this as an absolute. And he stands up and like starts walking downstairs. All right. Uh, do you all head downstairs? Yep. Okay. I guess. So. Yep. Krenios contemplates putting out the fire for a moment. Ah, I forgot it said Ubu. <laughs> <laughs> Krenios contemplates. Don't slice me, red cap. <laughs> right. Contemplates putting out the fire for a moment, but then thinks, "No, this is this is a service. This." This is doing a service. This Clearly. is charity. There definitely this won't be repercussions for the, our actions. There will be no repercussions. We'll leave a note blaming it on one of her sisters. Oh yes, there was a door over here that I never checked. And he starts uh, picking the lock. Uh, Muja finds that he doesn't need to pick the lock. Yuja will pick at it anyways. Oh, this is a very... This, this is going to be a tough one. <laughs> I watch. Do I believe this lockpicking? <laughs> well, if I, get, I will absolutely eviscerate you. Performance. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to roll insight against this performance. <laughs> What is my insight? Oh, I actually have a modifier to insight. If I roll a nat 20, I can see through it. <laughs> I'm very thoroughly yeah. impressed with the lockpicking. <laughs> All right. This one might take some time. It's very difficult. Miyuja can speak now, but that won't stop him be from being an absolute fucking schizo. An absolute nutcase. Completely and utterly stupid and deranged. Well, are we, uh, heading out? Huh? Oh, yeah. He just starts walking back towards the kitchen. Hopefully before Red the burns. Uh, you don't need to go that way. Is this all to go down these stairs? Uh, I thought we were going to yeah, inform the red yeah, cap. But, of... Yeah, we last we saw red cap. Oh was yeah, in red, the, red uh, cap the kitchen is, here. Yeah, red cap is still. Uh... Oh, red cap. 
it. It's right, what? right there. Right, right there. Uh, the the building oh. is burning. You might want to uh, evacuate. Oh. <laughs> probably, probably not through the uh, wasp door over there, but uh, oh, no, yes. Oh no, no! Just leave that door. And she she grumbles as she uh uh gathers up her her knives and uh. Fusion makes a point to be as far away from the knives as possible. <laughs> yeah, she she takes a small look around just to see uh, if she's left anything of importance before deciding, eh, fuck it. And uh, uh, she she starts heading towards towards the uh, the door. Right, everyone has is evacuating or has evacuated. Let us be off. Alright. Um <coughs> So you guys go back down. Oh, that shouldn't be there. Um you well, Technically it was, it was just a statue. True. It was just, you know an an ice sculpture at this point. Um, you see that the lily pad is gone as well. That bitch. Lily pad, it was like a flying carpet. Have the toads returned to the balcony? Uh, no. Sad. Sag. <laughs> Did you want a Jonathan four? <laughs> No, uh, he uh, wants four <laughs> through seven. No, he wants he wants uh, he wants uh, Jiminy, John's brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you guys uh, make it back um, to the trap door, and through the trap door, you find uh, fucking what's its name? The um, big frogger. No, the the satyr. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, the satyr! Yeah! Yeah, yeah we sent, by the frog. We, we banished the satyr to wait by the frog. I'm surprised he didn't leave without us. We didn't banish him, <laughs> we just told him to uh, wait at the frog. So, uh, potato Monado. I can't Benzo. find his name. Benzo. Men, 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 what? Benzel. Benzel. Den, de that's Denzel. It. Denzel. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, so, Mr. Yeah, Washington, Fancel. is that you? Fancel. <laughs> My man. <laughs> so, uh, Fancel. Oh! Oh, you're back. Oh, uh, uh, is it time to leave? Very, very hastily, probably, as the building is burning. Excellent. Uh, le uh let, let us, let us be off then. Really, I am just fascinated that the building's even burning, considering how damp it probably is. I mean, a quick fireball could always ensure that. B burning? Oh yes, I did just mention it, but the building is burning. Uh, oh. Well... Due to one of the uh, other hacks, apparently. Um... Of other hacks, uh, we, we 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 best get going then. <laughs> let's 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 go. And with all of you climbing aboard the frog or flying back to shore, hope you ain't fucking stepping foot on that motherfucker. We'll end session here. Whoa. <sighs> but where's the? Yay. 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 We will end session here today. Um, which means that next week uh, is. Well, no, not next week. Next session will be uh, getting you into Hither and potentially looking around a little bit. But. Uh, I will say that uh, I start my new job in two weeks. I'm going to be dead tired. Um, so I late that when I started mine. Yeah, so session might not happen for a little while just until I settle in to a new routine and stuff. So uh, I would thank you all for your patience whilst I 
suffer. I'll only make you roll an extra trauma point for every week that I uh, don't have D and D. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that's Rude. that's every that's every week. Does that include your your campaign? No, no, it's just, just this, this one. Just this campaign. Yeah, just every every week that this one isn't had, I'll make okay. you roll a trauma point. That's you know that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, Don't say Rixie. <laughs> <laughs> this is like collecting von stacks in Final Fantasy. How many can I have? Um, maybe yeah. eventually, if you have enough, you'll unlock a secret. Yeah, maybe it's like Shadow snorting the chaos uh, mist. Eventually, when you have enough, something cool will happen. <laughs> yeah. I swear, dude, I'll just get the unlockable, and then I'll get rid of them all. The debuffs are fine! <laughs> Nurse, give me more copium! I need it! <laughs> uh, that's what it feels like sometimes. <laughs> Alright, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this session. Yeah. Bro, I got uh, I got blindsided by the fact that I'm suddenly I'm suddenly able to talk now. I'm sorry, you got blindsided by that? I think we're both very <laughs> much blindsided. <laughs> I was expecting to reach in there, get nothing, and then just have him continue being a fucking wacky fucking nut job you that never speaks. A fucking nat twenty, my guy. God really just said, "I'm tired of you playing mutes." <laughs> open your fucking mouth. <laughs> oh, oh dear, what have I done? The charisma character now actually speaks. <laughs> Charisma character can now actually charisma. Anyway, um, I hope you are continuing to enjoy this this campaign. Hundred percent. Heck yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. I'm glad. Um, yeah. So about that level up. So about that level up, you will get that level up. So, uh, if you want to stick around and level up after session, that's fine. Please let me know. I, oh. I pog. Um, please, yeah, please let me know your scores and things. Um, it's just the hit points you need, right? Uh, unless you change your scores, but I don't know if you do that at this level. But yes, you, you, you get a level up today. Congrats. Thank you, kind, generous god. <laughs> um, Bro, I get my well, level I, 3 I, rogue. I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's everything that I have, have to say. That's, it's just one level, right? Yes. <laughs> no, seven levels, thank you. <laughs> well, I'm, just, hey, I'm, just ma I'm just making sure, so in case I fuck something up trying to do it, I know exactly where I need to be. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is just one level. You are level five. You are now level six. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm, I'm not get trying to squeeze more levels. It's just if I throw in a typo and suddenly I'm a fucking epic level monstrosity, I need to remember where I need to dial it back to. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, whoops! I accidentally a level eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I can do the Zeus flick from Love and Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's you funny. flicked too hard, or did I? <laughs> I've not seen no, that film yet. Uh, it's fucking hilarious. Okay. That's good. Yeah. All right. The movie overall <laughs> is. It, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the stream now, guys. So bye, chat. Bye, stream. Okay. Bye. bye. bye.